Hello there, welcome back to game three of Star Wars Legion. Thank you, Nick. <laughs> uh, Star Wars Legion World Championship. We are in game three. John's just dipped to the bathroom. Zane's having a quick chat to find out some information. So I thought I'd tell you what was going on in turn zero. We have, uh, well, take the players first. Tim McKnight, uh, Peter Lyons, Peter Lyons being the Aussie, uh, Zane. Hello, Zane. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Or should we say, good day? Good day. Good day, mate. As we've got one of the we've got <laughs> one of the two remaining Aussies. It's one of the two remaining Aussies who are undefeated. Yeah. Uh, we've got Zyconia. Good Pete, Fred Zyconia. Zyconia Alliance. Peter's Alliance. Against Tim McKnight. Where's Tim from? Tim is from Colorado. 5280 Legion representing here on stream. Do you realise how hard it is to say Colorado? No, it's not too hard. Colorado. Too. Colorado. Colorado in an Australian accent. Colorado. Do you know how hard it is to try and keep this up? I think I might have to stop, but it's hard to want to stop. <laughs> there is a... There is a, I don't know. You guys must have it. I, I assume... Uh, U.S. Canadian, Canadian, U.S. and Canada must have this, this thing. But like Brits and Aussies have this little like fun bond for obvious reasons, and right? Stuff. And it's like we we love to take the mick out of each other. Yeah. We, in 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 in, good, in fun ways is, is pure is pure love there. Yeah. Apart from the cricket. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so we've got Pete Zirconia Lions. Yes. On he is running. Um, we had the list up just a minute ago, but we'll tell you, we've got so far we've got advanced positions with. Payload, and I can't see what that says. Get Give it, it the zoom. Get it up here for you guys. <sighs> I want to say it's payload because it's a small word and it doesn't say key position, so I think it's payload. <laughs> and I'm trying. I don't know. Rapid reinforcements, maybe on there. Yep, that's the rapid art. Yeah. So AP. Here, here, we can. Here we'll do this too. We'll come over here. Yeah. AP payload on it uh, with rapid. We will. Um, with that, so that'll be interesting. And what we have is uh, Tim is running Fur Force One. Um, he's running uh, Echo, uh, not Echo. Excuse yeah, me. Advanced Payload Fortified. Fortified. There you go. He's running um, Bright Tree Village. Chewy and an ATST going. Uh, and you'll see that shortly. And we'll go through the full list in a bit. And. Zyconia. I'm going to call him Zyconia for the thing because it's the old <laughs> Discord shenanigans. In his shorts, because Aussies do, um, uh, he's running um, He's running an Empire list, which I'll grab the list very shortly for you. I, in the meantime, am trying to kind of struggle to connect to the Wi-Fi so I can see the chat because it's going, could not be joined, which is very annoying. So chat, rest assured, we'll be able to interact with you in a bit. Um, so far, notable, notable instances happening in round two. Kyle Dornboss. Out. He was yeah. beaten by Chris Beezer. Um, I'm not quite sure the scenario of the win of the it, loss. It was uh, apparently, apparently it was a, a shortness on. Yeah, break, break it, it was apparently of Kyle's own measuring. Dang. Yeah, he. Hello. Did not come John's through back. like he wanted. So. How's it going? Um, so yeah, he's gone um, or effectively eliminated from Sunday, but not this, not tomorrow. Um, Andy picks up his win, so he's one and one. Uh, the Germans doing a good showing. Multiple Germans yeah. are on two and zero. Yeah. Um, so good for them. Um, a couple of Polish guys also on two and zero. Krzysztof uh, I think Mickey, no, Mickey is one and one. There was another Polish guy on two and zero, I think. Mateusz from yesterday, he came out to me and went, when am I going to go on stream again? And I said, have you won? And he went, no, I one and one. I went, well, not happening again. And he laughed. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yes, and then yeah, there the there the there's some headlines. Uh, Brian Weber is still Sambert. He's uh, Saint still Dos and O. Uh, I believe Antoine from France is still De and No. And yep. um, so as the day goes on, we will see the quality rise, and well, we'll just see the uh, the cream rise to the top, if that makes sense. Indeed. Joe Lanza is playing Ready. Octobear. Okay, okay. Yeah. Invincible Tell Rebel saves against right, whatever. De Dennis, Dennis, right, Harleen? Dennis is yep. Octobear, yeah. Dennis Jenkel. Dennis Yen oh. Yenkel. 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 No, then he's not Octobear. playing Octobear. Okay. okay. Dennis Yenkel is Octobear. Uh, Finn Bumola is also 2-0, uh, as is Martin. Uh, Marcus, he's still 2-0, as is Richard. So multiple Germans uh, undefeated. Uh, yeah. Sambia is playing uh, Christoph. Christoph Trojanowski. Yes. Uh -oh. So that is a, uh, a US versus Poland matchup. Ah, okay. Christoph is uh, 
Have you ever met a man who just knows statistics and just can pull them off of anything? Challenge accepted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Christoph, he, what he did is we did a Christmas show for the podcast. He pulled all the tournament data for the previous year up to a point, and um, we, he basically we wrote, he wrote a quiz for statistics for the year. It was amazing. So it's like <laughs> in the, in events, which of like things like in events, which upgrade has been taken the most by Republic and da 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 da. And there was questions. Nice. It was brilliant. Nice. Um, I'll try and crack out one or two in a minute and see if you, if, uh, see if you can notice yourself that sort of thing or have a have a guess. Um, spoke with Brendan from Inglorious Blasters at lunch. I gave him his prize for winning the um, Legion Fantasy Football Charity League with um, a few hundred dollars. It was about five hundred dollars, probably more. My nice. Uh, going to Pause for Ability, uh, a charity that he nominated by because he won. That's awesome. Uh, it was brilliant. Loads, of, loads, of, loads of money raised for charity there. Um, we're, we're doing it again next year, but I'm going to expand that uh, a league. I'm going to make a, a new league for anyone to join. Um, nice for the whole community so it's going to be fun if you're into that if you're not you still join because it's fun if you're into it you'll, you'll love, love it. it even more you'll love it even <laughs> more yes alright so do we have lists for these guys are they just gonna, well we have uh, I was going to see if there's a paper list and bring them over ok yeah we should get the digital list right here Peter, our Empire player from Australia, is running Director Krennic with oh. Improv and Binox, Bosk with Hunter, Seas, and Scopes, one Snowtrooper with Binox, another Snowtrooper with Targeting Scopes, a body, and Impact Grenades. No heavy weapon, though, just a little bit spicier than a naked unit. Then a third snow with recon and impact grenades again, and then double darks. These darks, we have a five man and six man dark. Yep. You, yep. Both with program loyalty, and both with the frag and assault cannon, because murderizers aren't competitive, unfortunately. <laughs> they look cool. They do. Swinging a cricket bat. Yeah. <laughs> I want. I, I. You know what? When I saw that murderizer, I was like, "Can someone in Australia please model that?" to be in, in their baggy green caps and a bag, <laughs> give, give it the full cover drive. Um, you know we were talking previous stream about the bids? Yeah. 12-point bid. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, this is one of them, right? This bid. is a Bright Tree Village. Bright Tree. So, so uh, here's the list. C3PO. Uh, Wicket uh, with the Forest Dwellers and Situational Awareness Upgrade. Leia Organa with Vigilance, Underworld Connections and Portable Scanner. Yeah, um, Logre with Herbal Medicine. Secret Ingredients, and Chewbacca. Hey, Jay, how you doing? Um, Rebel Commandos with full, uh, so DH Sniper, Offensive Push, Transponder. Ewok Slingers with a Trapper and Situational Awareness. Yeah, John, bring it back. Uh, skirmishers with the Axe, Trapper, Call to Arms. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Situational Awareness, Skirmishers uh, for that unit, and again, Another unit the same, and then a naked unit of skirmishers for ten activations. So wow. seven, seven to ten. It's is that why is it? This is a. This is it's seven is nine. A soft oh, nine. Seven and nine. Yeah. This is a soft nine. All the way up a, to nine. A soft nine. So. Yeah. So. So a ten versus a soft nine. Yeah. The in, the interesting what piece of work is going to be is that is the AT ST going to be going after darks? Yeah. Because that's the that's the impact of it. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, because yeah, that, that is 100 percent of the firepower, right? You yeah, the on that. yes, I like that. Well, there's yeah. Bosk. Bo I mean, <laughs> if you could pick off Bosk, you take Bosk. Oh, I, I think. think. I, I missed the call out of the, of the of Peter's list. Well, it's yeah. Bosk. It's soft snow trooper underbelly. I mean, I say it's not soft, but two of them have impact grenades. How much? Uh, how is Bosk sure he's going to see three pure bounty? Uh, no, what, what you don't. You, you don't see three PO because there's still enough that can guardian him. Oh, yeah, I guardian. would go with Chewy. Because Chewy's the Chewy's, SD? Because Chewy's. Oh no, yeah, that's Chewy's right. He's the, the big. That's right, the big know. boy. Yeah. I mean, if, I if mean, you look, soften him up with the ducks and then go lying in wait, crit, crit fish. Who out of the? Yeah, because it's not going to be able to run from him. Honestly, because he can't run from him, that might be the best call. 
Yeah. Can't run or hide. Yeah, because the Ewoks. It is a the tough two, call, different call. The two Ewoks could, uh, could be hard to get to. Yes. And Leia will most likely be in the back. So. I, I will be. Ah, oh, there we go. Facebook's up for me. I have internet. It works. Um, nice. I'll bring up chat now. See, say hello to who's observing. Uh, as he brings it up. Hello, chat. How are we doing? Uh, Aaron Dury, 5280. I think there's some love going on here. Yep. Uh, I love seeing Bears, uh, Bears fly, boys. Uh, Bright Tree has the field advantage, is the opinion. Everything should get incognito from Elila. Can you bounty Chewie in a heavy? Oh, Lila says you can't, can't bounty a heavy. Can't bounty the heavy. Oh, there you go. But it is a commander, right? Does it say it has to be a trooper? You know? Judge? <laughs> no, I mean, we could look that up. That's yeah, no, not yeah. something you need to bother Judge for. <laughs> Jeez. No, we no, no, was no we're bothering. We're going to bother them all day. They're insignificant questions. Uh... Ragnar's videos, hello, hope you had a good lunch. I did. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. nice today to actually have a, a slight break and to walk around and like get out. lunch. Yeah. Um, yesterday it was just like go, 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 go. Yep. So there was no break yesterday, so it is nice today to actually have that. Richard Lavery says it's commander or operative for bounty, given that Chewie's commander in this. That's city. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I can't tell where he put that top deployment marker. It might be as close as we get. So, yeah, we are playing uh, Fortified, Advanced, and Payload. This might be one of the few Payload matches that goes on this weekend, honestly. It is not a... It's a tricky one to to be relevant, honestly. Yeah. So, hide that dice cam for now. Oh, wow. So uh, I've just had a, a little message from my stepbrother who's uh, watching on his big screen TV in Scotland. Oh, man. No, here's a pick. Boom. <laughs> Dude, that's fantastic. <laughs> there you go. That's, that's so good. Who needs to watch Friday night TV when you've got us? Yeah, exactly. Oh, um, they, they, don't play, they don't play this game. I'm, gonna, I'm persuading them, him and my other stepbrother. I'm persuading them to have a little crack. Yeah, um, why not? It's it's one of, it's one of like one of those things, life adult life, and they've got other things going on. So, yeah. hey, maybe this persuades. Yeah, I mean, he's, good. I mean, this is the perfect table to to look yes. at and see what's going on here, and this matchup should be pretty uh, pretty interesting for for uh, round three here. For context, Greg is uh, if you would if I describe him for you, he is effectively a giant Ewok that's six foot. <laughs> he's a Wookie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's Wookie. Yeah. Okay. I, I think he's more. I consider him more of an Ewok because he's still soft, he's just a soft and cuddly. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so good evening, gents. How you doing? Um, yeah, this is good. I've got visions. I'll get back, and he'll be texting me. Oh, you're right. Chewie is a heavy and not a commander in this scenario. Oh, no. That okay. is. Duh, obvious. I knew that, 100%. I've looked at his card before. <laughs> <laughs> I, I play this game. I, I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then his options are Log Ray Layer, C-3PO then. Uh, I mean, Wicket, right? Wicket, when Wicket was there as well? Yeah, yeah. Wicket as well. Yeah. Wicket might be the call then, because Wicket... His utility comes from coming at you. Did he? Oh, you know, you said about um, C3PO hmm. gets Guardian. Yeah. Do the Ewoks, Guardian. You, yeah, I was going to say, do the Ewoks can they crit Guardian they, native in the no. Bright Tree? No, they crit Guardian when they're in within range one of C3PO. Okay. But then they could crit Guardian anyone if they have Guardian. With the So I say it like that because there's the Han Solo interaction. Um, or anyone, if you have a steamed leader, 
while C-3PO is providing that aura of yep. crit guardian, then a steamed leader guardian also gains that crit ability. Yep. Oh, so, okay. It's a similar, yeah. not not the same, but not too dissimilar if you have same, same but different. esteemed leader on General Grievous, and then he has his guardian card, so everything he said gets guardian one, plus the guardian one from the esteemed. Yeah, it's sacking Stop. guardians yep. on top, and yeah. Yeah. Lila thinks it'll be wicked too. Check the yeah. chat, he says. Well, because I was thinking between the two, uh, between the two, uh, between the two Ewoks, right? Wicked is the one that wants to be a little more aggressive than Lovray does. Yeah. So you would want to pick the one that's going to be coming at you a little bit more than the others, because yeah. Lovray and Leia are going to, and Cedar Reaper are ideally going to just hang out in the yeah. back. So. And we're we're probably going to have to physically ask them what their what the bounty target is once deployment's all done. Yeah. Yeah. Because. Yeah. They don't normally put indicators on. But on payload, what's the max score? Uh, you could score up to three? Three. But do you ever get all the way up to three? You 100% can on some tables. I've lost to a 3-2 on payload. Really? <laughs> yeah. A world team championship. How did you let them get all the way to your dream? Uh, I couldn't choose. For shame. I was given the option of choosing going from north, like diagonal north south. Yeah. The only thing I could choose for him to go for him to straight shot across. Mm -hmm. uh, so while I, if you take away, if you take away the, um, <laughs> hello, something's tickled Zane. Zane's dying. Zane's done. I'm intrigued. He's dead. No, no, you mute you guys. All right, well, we'll be done. Oh. Yep, that was a, a, a true Australian moment that we had to reveal there, but there we go. Um, so yeah, my opponent chose a straight <laughs> shot, piece of terrain, uh, long shot terrain. I could only choose this one piece, uh, and so he got the straight shot. If it was a battle with no objectives, I'd won it, but he was able to get his payload. Is that the up. first command card we just missed? Is that a oh, uh, they, Bosk 2 pip? They're, they're going. I'll go, I'll go check, because I'll ask them who their bounty is too. Yep. Yeah, full on tactical muting. Um, I can need a comment on what was said. And the uh, cards are in the tray. I think I think I think Peter is a uh, is a poker player. He's going to Welcome back. Hello. What is this? The this is a Leia Bright Tree card? Yeah, Leia Bright Tree 2. Oh, baby. man. I got to look up stuff. All right. Beautiful friendship. Uh, it is permanent, and Wicket gains teamwork Leia Organa. Okay. Uh, when a Bright Tree Village commander issues orders, you may choose a friendly, uh, let's see. You may choose a friendly Bright Tree Village unit at range one and issue it an order. Okay. Okay, so so it provides a direct, it provides token sharing. Um, yeah. So but the, the permanent is only on the teamwork. Pretty confident there. Yeah, permanent, wicket, wicket gains it, not Leia. Correct. So, yeah. But when when one of them has it, then both of them are sharing back and forth. Right, but if like Han Chewy, if Wicked gains the token, Leia does. If Leia gains by his own, 
And if Leia gains the token, okay, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. Then. Okay, correct. That's, okay, correct. that's what I was saying. I was like, wait, so, why is it just Wicket? Because then, yeah, it, okay, yeah, yeah. I think if you put it on both, you have to be more careful about the wording, so it's not that's, infinitely looping. Ah, yeah, that's true. But that permanent is, is true. Lila says permanence the whole card, even with a the break there. Oh man, where 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 where, where is that rule gonna be? Is that a form? Oh man, it's too much work. Say, Peter already uh, moving. Seven. Peter already moving dark troopers up here. Yeah, um, Tom, who plays Ewoks, also a green hole card. Ah, there you go. Sounds sketch to me. Uh, quote: It's such a good card. <laughs> Mythic games. Everything after the word permanent is permanent. That's. Sounds uh, fallacious a little bit, but if that's the case for this, then that's the case. Where's Tim from? He's from the 5280. That's Denver, where is this? Denver, Colorado. Colorado. The, uh, you know why they call it 5280, Cockles? Is that the postcode? Zip code, sorry. No, no, no. So Denver is known as the Mile High City. Yes. In feet, it is 5,280 feet. Love that. So they call it 5280 Legion. Big fan of that. Yeah. I didn't know, because I know the, the Mile stuff because of Mile High football stuff. Yeah, yep, yep. Oh, sorry, football. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, and I'm actually a Broncos fan, unfortunately, really? but yeah. I could yeah. chat football another, this another time or place. Yes, chat. yes, this. But yes. we can do that later. Yes, for sure, for sure. You know, I should, I should, I should talk to Peter after this and, and try and plan a trip to come down to Australia. It's... That would just be phenomenal. Not that I have an issue. Apparently, New Zealand is the one to do. Oh, yes. No. Uh, it's not that there's anything wrong with it. Apparently, it's just for the pure, what's the word I'm looking for? Untouchedness yes, of the yeah. greenery and all this sorts of stuff. Yep. Uh, the, the, the wild hobbits running around, all that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the elves in the trees. Yep, the elves. <laughs> the, trees. the dwarves in the mines. All right, here we go. Some, some order token chopping up there. So no no shots fired yet, I believe. Um, just a lot of lot of moving and uh, measuring. I mean, Peter ha Peter has properly painted his range markers and his movement tools the appropriate shade of green for this table. Yes, <laughs> a, a dare say that is the baggy green that the Australians wear in their cricket caps. Ah, oh, well there you go. Well, if you're interested, I could give you a lesson in cricket as well. But I think <laughs> that will uh, that's a quick way of saying, no thanks, no stream. Cool. So here, so there the, uh, the players just agreed that that tree could be removed because it was just going to be a nuisance in measuring yeah. because the base is there and that base is essentially what, what has the, the, the terrain defined or definition. So... Michael Ramirez coming over, he got the bye. That's a win. Uh, the bounty went on Leia, if oh, we okay. did not yes. right. Yep, yep. Bounty is on Leia. I don't think we mentioned Leia. that yet. So. Which you can see Leia. Uh, Here, let's swap views to her. Oh, that was uh, oh. four, four whites there, all connected. It's cropped all the way out. Like oh. that's, that's the edge of the camera the table. Oh, no, 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 like I think I, I dragged it out earlier. Oh, yeah. Hard, so yeah. Back. But like this one, oh, like yeah, that, that's we're, 
at the edge of it. So yeah, you can see uh, Leia here. Out of your way. Leia is right up front by that, that payload cart. Also, a beautiful paint job from Tim here. Those Rebels look impeccable. I was looking at that in his train. The basing, oh, I mean, gotcha. the basing on them is, is phenomenal. Like, look at, those, look at those Ewoks right there, right? That looks so good. That's time and effort. Yeah. Nice. And ability that I don't have. <laughs> so good. Love the, that. Even the, even the payloads have been painted. Very fitting for this terrain. Yep. Very thematic. And I will say, I'll, I'll let you, I'll pan over to this other camera angle here. We can see where Peter's other Dark Troopers, Snows, and Krennic are hiding back behind these stairs. Where's Chewie? Chewie is right, you can see him just monster. here right there. He is right up oh, he's in the middle. So ATSD Chewie, you can see his back behind that tree there. He is perfectly sandwiched. Peter looking like he's going, he's taking a shot here. All right, got a dice roll coming in. Crit Just and hit, crit and surge. Could be a, could be a crit depending. Is that snow trooper? dice that is. Double. Double white block, double six up blocks. Yeah. Mind you. I'll tell you what, these white defense dice have been showing up today. Halo Still targets. That's a good question. Ollie's white dice, insane. Last game. Yeah. Apparently it's it's carrying over, so. Oh, that's on Leia. So he was shooting at was it oh, Leia. Leia oh no 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 no, he was shooting at the, the commandos up front there. I think he had improperly uh, heard him and put the uh this is another snow shot. What's the what's the single red die we're seeing? From the, there's nothing on the snows, right? No, the, one of them has an extra body. I think they both have an impact grenade. Uh, no heavies, though. Or is it? Uh, is there something range four from the? Uh, from the dark troopers. We'll get there. No, they're all range three guns. Range three and two. Bosk, obviously, duh. That was the oh double Bosk shot. Oh my god! Full white and red. Oh my god! This was his double attack turn. Where is Bosk? Oh, he's back behind the, the stairs a little bit. That's right. We were wondering where our oh, there's payload Chewy. objectives. Oh yeah, where we went. are. Yeah. Find those. There's one right there. Top. Bottom, it's that tree. Okay. To bottom left. I'll keep painting down that way you guys can see it. It's right above where the. Uh, conditions are at. I barely made it out of the deployment zone, it looks like. Yeah. So that counts. All right, so there's one. Two. That's a good question. Let's check our other angle here, see if we can locate it. There it is, right there. Oh, okay, yep. Bottom corner. So bottom left on both camera angles is our Payloads. That's going to be a hard push. It's a long push. They're both yeah. in the middle, though. Um, but this means that they are going to be like passing in the night. Yeah. Really, and right, the, right through the middle. Beef yep. is going to be the first three-ish rounds. Yep. All right. I'm going to move us back to this other angle as Chewie has moved forward here. Yeah, that is a not an Imperial ATST. That is a Rebel Bright Tree Village ATST.
It's nice and shiny looking too. Right. Fresh, shiny. Freshly stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Just engaging the community in Australia. I'm on their Discord, such so as saying, wake up, guys. <laughs> <laughs> One of your own Your boy on. is on stream. What time is it there? All right, looks uh, like four oh, from a double rainbow. God. This is going to be a range it's four Sunday morning. shot. It's the morning over there. It's Sunday Sunday morning? It'll be it's sun. Looks like it's one Saturday blink morning. into the... Into yeah, because they're at something. heads. Is that a dark that took a wound? Three got canceled, so it could have been impact was all those remaining. Yep, yep. That so was dark, a dark that dark took, took a wound. wound. I'm gonna see if I can adjust that nicely. John's having a crack at the dice cam. Sorry, guys. John is. Uh, John's uh, adjusting. He's adjusting the uh, the dice camera just to try and get the box in a little bit better. So we've got some uh, Ewoks moving up towards the middle here a little bit. Yeah, that gets all corners. Yeah, that's got all corners, you kids. The uh, dice tray had just been moved slightly, so there was a bottom right corner that was uh, not able to be seen. There's debate on the, um, there's debate in chat about where to put and place uh, a move for the payload. Um, they've just knocked a bit of terrain as well as broken out there. Let's talk about uh, where could it pivot out and go just right and left. Um, so there's debates on how uh, how Tim would move the payload to go around at the moment. Ooh, why is that? Yeah, that, that ATST walked in his own way a bit, huh? Yep. Did we, have we pointed out where the terrain is in the top cam? We have not. Uh, where the what? No, where the uh, objective terrain we, is. To we did find going. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. yeah. So I was engaged in here, that's all. So this is a dart trooper shot? Oh. Oof. Yeah, because he, yeah, he, he took an aim and then I think he's shooting at Ewok. ATSC if he's removing all but, all but crits. Oh. Wow. Nice dice. <laughs> I can't, Peter's Early just, noise toys. Peter's just looked at it and gone, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> is that, that's, he's, he's done the sire. It's the kind of game it's going to be, is it? <laughs> yep. Yep. That's exactly what that, what that look was. <laughs> Tom's copying noise toys in the old thing. It could have been the commandos. He did remove about the same amount of dice that low profile would have stopped. Um, Either way, it was fully saving out. Yeah. So a good afternoon from snowy Chicago today. Yeah. Uh, so what are we looking at here? Half past four. 
33 Fahrenheit. One, so one two, ish, two, two, ish, two, two one, two Celsius. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if Snow. you are if you are new to either channel, so this is Yavin Base with John and Zane working on behalf of David's uh, and, mys uh, and myself, Cockles from That's No Moon, working together to bring you the streams, uh, and with Seth from Inglorious Bastards. Excuse me, not Inglorious not in Bastards, but Bad Generals. Yep. Not bad generals. Uh, to bring you the camera work. So a proper community effort going on to bring you the stream. If you don't follow or know of Bob Bad Generals, hit them up on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Have a little listen. Um, if you don't know of Yavin, Yavin Base because you've not come across them because you're new, head over to Yavin Base channel on, on YouTube. Give them a like and subscribe. Alternatively, if you don't know who That's No Moon is, go to um, That's No Moon podcast on YouTube at TNM Pod, and uh, yeah, give us a like and subscribe as well. Help grow all, all content creators to grow the game. We nice. Will get, we will get better for it. It's all good. Peter, take another dark trooper shot into an ATST. Big old shot. These are range three shots, so they shouldn't have impact. Um, he's just hoping for natties. She had. Or wait. Two? Oh, he's shooting at Ewoks. I think. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Expression down on Ewoks. <laughs> Orin Freeman. B. Yay, ATSD. Caesar's Cheery. Rebel scum. Tim taking measurements to see what's what and where and measurements in relation to the right side of the field. Meanwhile, Peter's having a measurement to see what he might be able to do and move. If he could do a speed one over those stairs by looks of things when he was there. Oh, so Ewok's kind of coming around the back side. Yeah, they want to get to that soft underbelly. They stand no chance against the Dark Troopers. Yeah. They are their exact, like, not... Not even counter. They just—they're just opposites. Absolutely, do not care. Yeah. About the Ewoks. So I've seen a couple of red list codes in this. I'll just read out the list just to reiterate for those who might be joining simply. Yeah. Um, red is Peter Lyons from Australia. Uh, I shall not do the Australian accent now. Uh, <laughs> I will just say that it is Director Orson Krennic, uh, with improvised orders and extra binoculars, with uh, supported with Bosk, with Huntless Seas, and target in scopes. Snowtroopers with recon intel and impact grenades. Snowtroopers with an extra snowtrooper. Targeting scopes and impact grenades. Snowtroopers with binoculars. Two squads of dark troopers. One has loyalty, frag launcher, assault cannon, and the extra trooper, and the other does not. He, his command hand is merciless munitions, voracious ambition, reptilian rampage, deploy the garrison, lying in wait. Annihilation, and Annihilation Looms. And I will say, the Australian playing Krennic is quite good, considering Krennic was played by Peter Mendelssohn. So Australian actor. There you go. Yeah. Uh, blue list, C-3PO, 788. So this is a 12-point bid, 788. Uh, C-3PO, Wicket, with Forest Dwellers and Situation Awareness. Leia, Vigilance, Underworld Connections, Portable Scanner. Logray, with Herbal Medicine, Secret Ingredients. Chewy, in the AT-ST. Uh, Rebel Commandos, the Sniper, Offensive Push, and a Transponder. One Slingers with Trapper and Situational. Two Squads of Skirmishers with an Axe, a Trapper, Call to Arms, and Situational Awareness. And one Naked Skirmishers for ten activations. I do not have his command hand, but I dare say it's something along the lines of Ewok Ones and yep. Leia. And uh, Peter just pulled his Dark Trooper, his second uh, token for his second unit of Dark Troopers, and they just moved up. And we'll probably take another shot here, so... He's trying to get them through that little opening.
Marcel's joined us from yesterday. Ewok player from yesterday's LCQ round three. Wanted to say thanks again for having me on stream. Also a lot of fun, even if I was nervous as hell. Marcel, it's a pleasure having you on. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Marcel, that game was good, though, buddy. Good game. It was obviously yeah. annoying, annoying for the ending, but it was a great game anyway. Yes, it was a fantastic game. Enjoyed having you on. I see three hits going through. Is this a third dark shot? Yeah, yep. definitely. Yep. Up to six after rerolls. And the one, <laughs> wow, these white dice. These white dice, what, what is going on? We got a, like, a blessed green oh, tray. Oh, what is going on here? Alejandro has made yeah, a yeah. magic tray. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's uh, those pikes didn't, weren't feeling oh, it. Oh, no, no, no. Moving out here, so moving some Ewoks forward. Why would I mean Ewoks into darks though? Like, no, they don't. They don't stand the chance. I know. I'm like that. Like, like, what are you? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that game is. I mean, he's got that building blocking them pretty solidly. Right. Maybe sacrificial lamb he throws them to one of the dark troopers. Could you to go tie just time up. up in melee and just say, hey, you know but what? It just time up long. They are double dice, and they get to attack twice. Well, and then they can disengage with one and then be free on the next one, right? I think they just punch them. True. Get rid of a unit. An activation. Yeah. Yeah. As often, payload will come down to just points killed. So. Yeah, it's hard on payload. Um, the where is it? Where's this? Where's he going? This payload? Where's this going? The where's Tim's? Top right. Top right. About your one, one o'clock on your screen. No, I think that's I think that's a hard ask to get that there in all the tents because you can't that won't go through that gap because the gaps are too yeah small. Well, and he, and he put that barricade there yes. so that that was a placement by Peter to put that barricade there not only for his own units but then to block that. Great shout. Yeah, yeah you he can't blocked. go through that now. So he's got to go. He's got to go that way. Zigzag underneath that bridge and then back up. Which, as you can see, Peter's also blocked that off with a barricade. So. Come to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There is no, there is no direction for his. I mean, the pay card can, or the payload can go over barricade, correct? Isn't it just tall enough? I don't think it goes or over I think anything. There's, I think there's, no, that's definitely not the ruling. It, it can't go over a lot of stuff because it's shorter than stuff. Yeah. Is the situation? Than, so is but the I handle believe, taller? I believe, probably, but I believe that um, everything can go over barricade. I think there was a form ruling. I'm sure someone in the chat is going to respond quicker than I can look it up. Let's find out. Um, I'll keep an eye. I. Oh my gosh! White dice roll oh. another block. But I highly doubt a barricade is stopping. Yeah. Hey, looking over barricade. Lila's okay. always right. I'm on Lila's camp now. <laughs> there we go. That's an aggressive camp that you're in with. <laughs> like aggro camp, Lila's aggro camp. <laughs> I don't read, so that that just hurts me all around. I'm gonna just describe something. Turn if you when when Peter turns around, check out that T-shirt. Oh, it's fantastic! The back of Peter's T-shirt is a koala dual wielding lightsabers. And then not only, <laughs> not only is he dual wielding two lightsabers, he's dual wielding two different colors. Yes. The red yep. and the blue. The eternal conflict of the Australian Empire or Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> Have they not gotten the new factions yet? Is it still on a boat? 
Probably. <laughs> they're all, they, Three years on a boat. You, to Australia. So in the, I'm in the, I'm in the, in the, in the C, rounds up by C4 is the podcast that's Australian base. Yeah. They, hilarious guys. We've had one on on, our, on, on with us. They're great guys. And that you regularly hear in the in the chat in the Discord that they have. Um, yeah, they're delayed, delayed because of boats, delayed because of boats. And as Will Schick was saying yesterday. Everything normally transports fine, unless you're going through a canal near where people are firing rockets. Uh, and we, and so in your head you go, yeah, yeah, it's kind of true. I kind yeah. of get it. So um, it's one of the one of the one of the pains of what's going on at the moment. I agree. The payload oh. should absolutely have hover one. Yeah. Um, there's no. There, I can't say no, but there's very little strategy involved in trying to. Man. Yeah, these currently these with how much blocks it, well, and these, boards are failing. Me, pay, but it's, payload it's games essentially good. just turn into a death match. It's it's not a matter of objective. Yeah, like yeah, you're gonna move the objective because it's yeah. it's there, but ultimately it's okay. Well, I I've just gotta kill a bunch of my opponent's stuff. Yeah, it's still so. extremely thematic, pushing people off them, spiking, getting units over to their payload to stop it last second. Like there's still a ton of interaction. It's without having to maneuver around every single little hut that's there. It's an aggressive uh, mission, and that's why Lila likes it. <laughs> it's aggressive, but if you're not the red player and they know you're aggressive, they could absolutely avoid any conflict with you by just putting it on the, in the opposite direction, and then you don't have any fun. Right. Wow, are we into turn two now? Yeah, we are into turn two. They're flying. Well, with a nine and a ten. Yeah. yeah. You know. And yeah, as we said, Peter's list is just going forward, so. Not much to be seen from this side of things. You see Krennic, as always, in the back, hiding. Does he have anything on his Krennic, Cockles? On his Binox. Krennic, he has, I believe, Binox. improvised orders yeah. and electric binoculars. Okay, cool. At least he, he gave him something to do. Lock trap and lying in wait. Oh, okay. We're going to try and get those crits on that AT. Well, especially because I think... Because can Bosk see Leia from where he's at? Where is she? She's she is right to your to your uh, right behind the ATST. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. And where? Bosk is Bosk Bosk is right behind those stairs with the hat, cowboy hat. I mean, he's not going to be able to <laughs> see through the ATST. Right. I'm going to go with you. Can't see him. Wow, what is the cowboy hat? What is this, Cad Bosk? Uh, no, it's actually uh, it's, it's Krosk. Krosk. It's Krosk because it's as it's actually uh, a, a crocodile, Bosk. It's not a knife. Yeah, he used to have a bigger, bigger knife, but uh, the ATSC broke handled. incognito almost immediately. Yeah, it did not um, stay incognito. It's been shot long. at. I don't think any wounds delivered though. White saves are yeah. hot. Uh, they're rolling spicy, hot like spicy. a pizza in America. Yeah, Leia's got to be 100% blocked from boss Hickory. there. <laughs> this die pool here. Where is this? Is the ATSC? Oh, this is the log trap. No, he played oh, log, log trap. trap. That's right. One. So it's got to be going on the darks because yep. it ignores their cover. Only two make it through. Oh, one, two. Oh. Two wounds. Yep. That's a model. It's probably worth it. Depends on which one. It could be a model and a wound because he had a wound on one already. So takes a model and the Very wound nice. stays on. So. Um, they may have forgotten to move payloads. They did forget to move payloads. That is a on them kind of thing. Yep. In this situation, would, you, would that, that on that, they're just going to go right. That's tough luck on us. Or they, act, or would you that's just tough, say, that's given no, we we're, just we're never, that we're never supposed to interfere. No, no, no. I mean, as yeah. in, if you were playing, no. Would you say they're doing it now? Oh, there you go. That's cool. I was going to say. Oh, so they did log trap, and then now they're. They they're, just forgot. Yeah. Because I think now it's they remembered. Not yep. that them moving that is not effective.
So I wonder what Wicket's role is going to be in this. Oh, there's some white blank dice. I think it's the uh, suppression. It's suppression on roll. that. Yeah. Yeah, suppression on that uh, commando squad. Oh, okay. So they just take a dodge, it looked like. Yeah. Dark's pressing W. Yep. All right, shot coming in here. I imagine he's piling it on the ATST. Should be in range two now to, yep, it's oh, yep. the Reds. That's a lot. We'll see how much impact it is, but he will tear through this. Could tear through it this round, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, was that five crits? I think it was five. Impact? Yeah. Oh boy. Still blocking still, two. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very not slightly not. above average. Still not not dipping yet. First three wounds on the ATST. Yep. And it's still eleven. Yep. Okay. Yes. It is surge crit though, right? I think I remember that much. Yeah, it surges to crit, but it lost to hard point, I think. I mean, it has two. It has the two best guns in it. It just doesn't yeah. get to choose between them. Yeah. Or in fact, it has three of them. The one thing it doesn't have is the mortar, mortar. and it doesn't have the kick. So it, so it can do the the triple rainbow at range three. Yep. Or it can do like the double rainbow and blast at range two. Um, impact or, four at its best, and and its surge crit, which uh, is immensely better. And it could do the grenade, melee, isn't it? No. Oh, that is. Yeah, it's melee symbol. So melee. You, yeah, because it melee. I was about to say you can you can arsenal you can to your grenade blaster. launcher and your twin light blasters into melee. That is. Yeah, twenty based. Yeah. Is that on the normal? That's not on the normal. No, it's no. Not. The normal one is is. Kick or whatever it's called. The yeah. razor cut is all. Yeah, razor, razor, razor kick. Feet. Yeah. What? Razor chicken. What? Cock. <laughs> Wow, why? Yeah, the why others, are we the others. saying you could. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It could rotate like that. Well, you're the, taking the type away of weapon profile. You're taking away four red dice. Four, four. red dice. One of your four weapons. Like, yeah. When you could only use two. I don't think they needed to do that. I'm all for it. You know, it's rebels. So Torres workshop from chat. Just uh, players' names. Just thank you for joining us. We have Tim McKnight from Denver, Colorado, uh, and Peter Lyons, aka Zyconia. Uh, on the Discord uh, from Australia, um, representing Team Australia. He's doing quite well. The rest of the Aussies are doing quite well as well. Um, yeah. All winning. Yeah, the names up there for you for a little bit. Uh, Tim is running with the Ewoks, and Zyconia is running with the Imperials. Um, they're both running. This is payload. Uh, Tim is aiming to get to the bottom right tree. Am I right on the map? Uh, yes. Yeah. And yeah. Zirconia is looking to get somewhere. I think top the left. Dice, it is a uh, yeah, yeah. Top left uh, is a little tree stump yep. up that way. So yeah. they've, both, they've both got to go a long way round. So we'll see what happens. Is the question. Yeah. And they started on advanced positions with fortified positions. With obviously payload as well. The 
Saving all his white blank dice for the rally rules. Is that what's happening? I have a judge cool. Oh, we have a different judge. Yeah, Austin is back here. I will ask Austin what the call was. When they're finished talking. Where is he going with that Ewok unit? Let's move back over to oh, our... oh, he's bringing the payload back and around. Interesting. Okay. I mean, you got to pick, like, one of the paths around the trees, yeah. right? So. Yeah, and, and rather than go right through the middle towards the Dark Troopers, you go down yeah. and around. Then you only have a Snow Trooper squad to contend with here. I can't say I blame him. After no. he finishes getting around this tree, it's a straight shot. Yep. So the ruling was, or the question, the query was whether the bomb cart could fit through that gap. Ah. Because obviously terrain there. The ruling was yes. Which okay. does make logical sense, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that ATST is not long for this world. Josh Foran thinks uh, is, he thinks it's going to come down to kill points. That's uh, another dark <laughs> shot. Uh, Richard Lavery, it's, uh, it's going to come down to whose anti-armor fail, uh, fo uh, fails first. Uh, and Impact means yeah. four saves on the ATST. See if these white dice hold up. Uh, there's one. Three more wounds yep. on the ATST. So it's at six out of 11, two away from breaking. Where are the snows at the moment? There's a snow trip unit that's got uh, impact grenades. It's going to be a problematic. Yeah, there's some snows right behind the dark troopers, even but become relevant. I think the darks, like he, that, that was only two out of the four dark shots this turn. Yeah, his other dark troopers have not gone at all. Uh, okay, fair so point. just wondering if so. The speculation on the chat was whether the ATST would wipe slash nerf the darks before there was a ch chance for them to, to properly do anything. However, that appears to not be the case. The ATST will get one more one shot before dying. Yep. And then yeah, um, boss can absolutely finish him, Kevin. But yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Is this is this wicked? Is this log ray? That is. Uh, that's log ray. The leader, isn't he? That's wicked, isn't it? Did he just got to be wicked? Yeah. So wicked just double moved to. Uh, to tie up, to save his ATST brother. <laughs> like that's well, those dark tubers have already gone twice. Did they go twice? Yeah, that, those are both tokens right there for that. So he's diving not to protect the ATST. He's diving to get better positioning. Yeah, because the uh, the uh, blue rimmed dark troopers on the steps there have not gone at all. Man, so those guys moved up, shot, and then recovered, shot. Yep. Uh. Wicket takes out a model. Oh, <laughs> wow. All well right. Well done, Wicket. Uh, eight dice will be coming back at him twice, though. <laughs> and I think he's Wicket, four health, five health. Five. Wicket, Wicket's going uh, to get splattered. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, but if he if he does significant damage to a 200-point yeah. unit, that is very relevant and worth his time. That's true. Even if he just whittles down the heavies, like that, that would be wild. Yeah. See, this is Bosk shooting. First aim. Two crits out there so far. Next aim. There, that looks like a crit. So three, three oh, crits. Man, three. Nothing. And it just hits. 
Nothing. That's going to keep the ATST alive. Three one, crits one, coming two. in. All three make All three. it through. That'll break the ATST, and he'll have two health left for the Dark Troopers to finish. Yep. Let's see what he. Wicked's uh, ranged weapon is primitive. I don't think his spear is primitive. It's blank. Blank is movement. Yep. Can't reverse, and moving forward takes two actions. Yeah, primitive is a weapon keyword on the sling, not on the spear. Wild. So All his right. surge crit with four dice and pierce one in yep. melee. It'll do it. Because he has, oh no, he's only three dice. He doesn't have tenacity. Oh, he didn't put one on him? Oh, just uh, No tenacity okay. and no wound on him. Okay. So. I don't know about you, John, but I'm ready for that Vinter Hall close. Oh man, dude, I am shivering. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I'm not, I'm not like freezing, but it is like just slightly uncomfortable. Like if I was going to sleep, I'd be okay with this. Oh, I would be. But so toasty, just in blankets with this weather. Sitting in me. chair, not moving. Yes. yes. Doesn't bode well for cold. No. Like I said, I'm just going to come wrapped in my comforter tomorrow. <laughs> just bring towels down from the room. <laughs> Let's see, move. Oh, he's moving those, uh, those Continuing Ewoks. Continuing to flank with those, that squad. Yep. Still figuring see, out what their Let's see if we can see where they're – yeah, there they are. I think they might be coming around to just potentially contest the, the cart. But as you can see there, he has fully moved those Ewoks down and around. We will cut back the other way because it looks like this ATSD is not long for this world as Peter has drawn a Dark Trooper and is measuring. Here we go, dark shot into ATST for one crit. Yes, and this is without the impact gun. Yep, and he's got Oh, it. and the critical, so he's two. Two, okay. Oh, I didn't see that was it. And then no more natties. So just the two, which could finish it. It does oh, not. Oh my gosh, nice Noise dice. Tim with the noise dice. <laughs> Tim, 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 Tim over there taking his hat off, wiping his brow. <laughs> That ATSC hasn't gone this year. It has yet. not. That could have finished it, but he's I think he's he's yeah. he's hoping for that pull out of his bag here. The Did commander. He just get it? No, it's Leia. Uh. Which Peter still has one more dark unit to shoot. Yeah, and he'll be able to move and get range two for that shot, which is pretty much a death sentence. Bosk's bounty is on Leia. Yes. Leia, I don't think, was even visible till maybe right now. Women are in attendance this year. I've been trying to collect data, but that was not one of the data points that I was asking. 270 people. Um, yeah, not many. I know that. Yeah. At least as far as the Legion tournament goes. Yeah. 
I see lots of like wives and girlfriends hanging around. Yeah, and I've actually seen quite a few playing uh, MCP, um, X-Wing, Shatterpoint even. So, so far we only have one game finished in this round. Was that two Snowtrooper crits into the ATST? And he made one more block to keep staying alive. alive by one. Goodness. Yeah. Absolutely bonkers. We're going to get our head judge on for yeah. a second, Mr. Joshua, <laughs> shortly. Short, shortly, he's, he's coming around the bend. I think he's grabbing a little bit of water before he gets on. Okay. Get an ATST action. Find a good place for this dice cam eventually. All right, welcome, welcome to our head honcho, head consular here, Josh Hale. Hello, how are you doing head today? Head consular, you like that ring? Huh? Yeah. yeah, head yeah. consular. <laughs> head consular. Yep. How's the tournament going so far today, you think? It's going pretty well. I mean, we're behind on time, but you know, okay. that happens at every tournament, so. I mean, yeah. 270 people, it's. 272 people. 272. Wow. Yeah, oh yeah. Dang. This is massive. Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, it snowed here last night, and I think that delayed a lot of people getting in on time. Yeah, there was definitely there were people coming in late who were at the other hotels. So it's yeah. yeah. All right, looks like we are watching a. That was a single crit. He oh, opted not to move in wow. to, with the, for a range two shot. Just popped wow. right on critical to finish what? off the TST. <laughs> Peter raises his fists and in, in, in defiance of we finally did it. Yeah, it was only four, eight. Dark trooper shots and, and a snow trooper shot to yeah. take it down, but he got it. Well, sometimes it's all it takes. Just yeah. The one yeah. <laughs> shot that breaks the back. Well, the, the first two dark trooper shots that really got up here, they added their impact. They took three wounds each shot. Yep. Oh, um, that's brutal. Yeah. And that was a Chewy, um, Bright Tree Village Chewy in the ATST. Who lost incognito almost immediately. Yeah. Move forward got, and shot. He got one attack in yep. and did not get a round two attack, yep. unfortunately. Yeah, he kept. You could tell he was trying to pull that from his bag. He was yeah. like, "I need to pull this out." And he, it, and he just could not, could not pull it out. So, so there's Leia hiding behind those huts, trying to stay hidden from Bosk. So, Josh, any uh, outrageous uh, judge calls that uh, just kind of like learned, like had the players learn something, or has been consistent, or? It's been pretty consistent. There's been, I mean, a lot of line of sight, obviously, but right. I mean, a lot of really obscure rules right. that like, make sense. We're at Worlds, so most right. people know the basic rules. So, of course, the only yeah. rules questions were actually being asked are like the, oh, can a creature trooper reposition after withdrawing? The answer is yes. Yeah. It's written in the creature trooper rules, but, you know, with only two in the game, how often do you see those? Yeah. 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 It's true. Too, huh? I'm sure yeah. uh, Ryan Ryan from Stabcast could tell you that. Oh, he oh knows yeah. the ins <laughs> and outs. I think it was Ryan troopers. from Stabcast's opponent who <laughs> called the judge call. So. <laughs> Other than that, a lot of line of sight, which isn't too bad. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nothing super contentious. We've not had to throw anyone for, you know, yelling and screaming. <laughs> so yeah, everyone's being pretty civil, which is nice. <laughs> nice. It's a low bar to set, but... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you go to enough 40K tournaments, and it's the bar. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, so far it sounds like it's been... These uh, flanking Ewoks small. are running this is in now. wild. Yeah. I feel like they're just going to disintegrate. I'm not sure what the game plan is. I don't either. He's, yeah. running, he's running these Ewoks. So this front one, troopers. you can't see right here, Josh, here. but Wicket is in the middle of them. Oh, so they Wicket charged yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. So That's Wicket. hilarious. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. he the one with four dodges? Yes. Yeah, there's oh. Wicket tucked right in the middle there. Yeah, you, you see the difference in the base. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, Wicket removed a dark model. Yeah. Right, that was a six man. He, hocked, he uh, hacked a, uh, like a nut or a bolt out of yeah. one of the necks and disconnected it. <laughs> Start taking it apart. Yeah, just dismantle. Wait, there isn't a, man, that would be so hot if they had the, the one upgrade on the Ewoks that removes a heavy. Man, that would be juicy. No, I don't see it. 
Oh, that's the. Um, I don't even know the name of that one. Right, but it's. Chat. What's the name of that that Ewok that removes a heavy? I know y'all know it. Lila, chip in there. Lila reads things. I know this. Yeah, she'll get it she get. She she read things. Do. She she reads stuff and she knows things. I know this. It's a. Insatiable, insatiable cur curiosity. Curiosity. That's um, insatiable that curiosity. Is Got it. A mouthful. What it is? Dr. Parks, like, curiosity something. That's, yep. Yep. Wow, that would work even on Dark Troopers. There's nothing in there. That would be wild that if that was a thing. That makes it have to be a specific rank. We can also include. Remove a heavy. You could put that on all of them, right? Because that's not a. Yeah, a, it's not no, limited. It's not yeah. At all. Yeah. It's just eight points. It's kind of mess sometimes. This, I mean, that would help him here for sure. Can oh, you imagine yeah. just like dismantling heavy darks? Just like, oh yeah, that's cool. See Can ya. you imagine Ewoks running at dark troopers and <laughs> pulling off both heavies quicker than any other army? That's what I'm saying. They're just it. like running up and like yeah. it's like a NASCAR pit crew, like and just like darks are just falling the, uh, apart. Six like. black dice, no searches, nothing else. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, yeah it looks the, like we are. Making it already to turn, round three. Turn three, turn all right. Three. I'm just I'm just laughing at a, at an at an Ewok like NASCAR pit crew just someone needs just, to make that into just running into and like flocking over a dark curiosity. trooper, but just like nuts and bolts flying off of him and just carrying on <laughs> like still losing the gun like seriously hampers their offensive output. Oh yeah, losing no the... critical, no impact, no blast. Yeah, no it's, dice it's pool a goes down loss. a lot. Well, I should probably get back to my station. It's been All right. Yeah, Josh, yeah, thanks, yeah, thanks, thanks for, for jumping on, man. Here. Yeah, no problem. And uh, hi, Tori. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Card Command card's coming out. Oh, uh, standing deploy the orders. Was that deploy? Okay. Yeah, I think it was deploy from. And then I saw four pips on the other. Which, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. If you're playing standing orders on turn three, what command cards does he have left? No, he, he definitely has command cards. He, he hasn't just, he's lost. Just waiting. Chewie doesn't have right. so I'm like, more than just, one command card left, right? Right, so is he just playing that to then... It's got to be... ...have better... He can't do brains and bronze anymore. It's right. the only thing he lost. And he's he played. He's be played beautiful. He's played beautiful friendship and log traps. Correct, but close call for the tribe, and somebody has to save our skins. Are all in the bag. All right, so he's good as one and one and two threes. So, okay, interesting. Players do need to move their payloads again, right? Oh no, he did. Yeah, they did. Because that uh, that payload cart is now closer to the middle. I think our player probably underestimated how quickly Dark Troopers can shred through that white save armor. Um, that yeah. looks like a Bosch shot. Yep. Three crits, four crits. Four crits. crits. Into something. Probably Leia, the bounty target, out in the open. Four blanks. White dice have stopped Ewoks underneath. He's picking oh, okay. up Ewoks underneath here. Um, but yeah, incognito is probably probably would have been the right call. Stay incognito until every every attack you can deny dark troopers out of their twelve attacks a game is a win. Yeah. Right. So if you deny the first two from each of them, some from the next round too before attacking, I think that's probably best. Yeah. Even like move standby as your final. Like it as a round two thing, and then if they're trying to get into range two to attack you, then you can attack first and mess them up a bit. You can see here where these blue player cart is uh, trying to get to. Our players here are Peter Lyons from Australia and Tim McKnight. Tim is our Bright Tree Village player. Peter is our Imperial player. 
So as Ewoks now running into melee with the Darks. This is very interesting. I'm wondering if he's just hoping to completely overwhelm him with bodies that... Who? The Ewok player. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what his hope he, is anymore. Well, because he has he has Wicket in melee. He oh, now this has is a melee attack. He now has a full. The darks getting three attacks each this round is absolutely brutal. He's blocking half. Yeah, Wicket only taking two wounds from. Or no, this was the Ewok. This was that the Ewoks that just joined, just charged in. Yep. Okay. Still, he blocked yeah. half. Yeah. Cockles is Hello, now what back. I missed. Uh, Chewie died. Um, and I mean, he, he oh. soaked yeah, of course. <laughs> eight attacks from Dark Troopers. Yeah. All of them from as the first two turns. As expected. For, yep, we signed up. Um, and now we're trying to figure out the wind condition that is remaining. Let's see. This so looks like a Dark Trooper dark shot. Shot into... Five remaining, re-rolling it to seven. All right, sorry guys, we were dis discussing things, talking about stuff. As Tom says, tactical mute. Tactical mute. This is going with, uh, is going with Darks again here. Yep. More melee, three, five, six. Rerolling, they don't convert surges, so six. Yeah, two, four, six. All right, let's see how these white dice hang. Oh, he's got yeah. a dodge. Yeah, I wonder. What are we having? Let's see what we're rolling here. There's Four, an all blank. All that, blank. I think that's the first all blank. Yep, on the white saves. Yeah. Otherwise, he, he's like. That was on Wicket, I think. He's putting wound tokens down. So Wicket's on one health. Oh, yep. Yeah, because yeah, he used that. He used that uh, dodge, I guess. to. Doesn't Wicket have nimble? Yes. Should. Or is that an upgrade? No, I, don't, I can't think of an upgrade. Do it. I feel yeah, like he's definitely does. nimble. Yep. Because yep. I remember when that card came out and it went, how many keywords does he want? Yeah. More keywords. All right, that was a uh, rally roll, I guess. Or is he just cleaning up dice? Oh, yeah. Here comes a, an attack. This is wicked. This is, yep. That is no crits. Yep. So it doesn't matter. Nothing happens. Oh, well, he just put a wound down. Maybe that bright one that had the reflection was a crit. Crit or a surge. Ah, okay. Yeah, nimble upgrade would be dangerous. It would definitely have to have a lot of limitations to it. Yeah. All right. Other darks now moving forward. 
Where are they going to go? Are they, I guess, I'm guessing they're going to go towards yeah, they, those other Ewoks. Yeah, they just Ewoks. moved into range two yep. blast of those Ewoks around the corner. Negating, <laughs> negating cover. And low huge. profile with yep. it. Yep, that's huge for Ewoks to stay alive, so. Yeah, this is a, this is garbage collection now. <laughs> I have some results coming in. Oh, what you got? Oh, uh, Jared Landreth from the Dust Bowl Bounty Hunters has lost to uh, Thomas Trotman from the Dudes Fighting Womp Rats. Okay. We have Daniel Glantz from Skull Squadron losing out to Keanu Quick. That's a Arizona local of mine. Is, how's Keanu doing? Is he 3-0? Uh, two, oh? two and one. Two and one. Oh, okay. Uh, Nick Post. He's waiting for confirmation, but he's beat Steve Boatwright from the Midwest. Uh, that is your early oh, scores in. Oh, no, here we go. Um, Benji Huff has beat Robert K from the Legion Lads. We're waiting for verification on that one. Uh, yeah, Ollie won, right? That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's a waiting verification. St yeah. uh, Stephen Cobb beat Joey Summerfield. I didn't see Ollie there. I'll just go down. I'll refresh here again here. Jay Muth. Uh, lost to Rob Curlin, Matthew Collins from the Indy Garrison. Just picking up a lot of that is a lot of a Ewoks lot of Ewoks guy here. Um, let me refresh. Yep, he's got two left. Looks like. Yep, two left out of that squad. Yeah, Ollie won his. Yeah, Ollie has won against Adam Slaber from Indy. Oh yeah, scroll past that. Waiting verification on that one. So that's Ollie done. Ollie might join us for the stream then. A bit. <laughs> oh yeah, if he's done that soon. Stephen Cobb, did you mention? Yeah. Five two eight oh. Stephen Cobb lost to, uh, lost to yeah. Stephen Cobb beat Jay. Yeah. That's, yeah. Okay. I think we're hoping we could get Brian Bear on next if he wins out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You'll if, see si the double bus if, if Sam Bear can make it, he's coming here next. So I want to see how he plays. I know this. the, the want type of Republic list he's playing into. Uh, it's Anakin gun line. He is very proficient against. Um, so should be good. Should, he should have it. Obviously, we've got, it means that if the Germans hold out, Brian might end up facing a German or an Oz. Yeah, oh, triple blank on a... Oh, red, red, red fire. Oh, oh, he's yeah. picking up. Oh, that picked was a up. dark trooper. Yeah. That was a model. Let's see what we got from this way. Anything, anything worth looking at? Nope, just a big old tree base. Right there, smacking the middle of the screen. And I thought I was the one with dodgy actions. <laughs> Zane's got them all. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to go back to this way because this view gets us Peter's lovely hands. She caresses a range tooler here. <laughs> Turn this with Admiral Podcast. And the dot trooper here has now perfectly placed his range ruler into contact with the commando. <laughs> <laughs> Zane Attenborough over there. <laughs> Zattenborough. Zat yeah, you know what? Zattenborough. Is that? That's not. Is that two models remaining in that dark squad? The blue? Yeah. I think there's some behind the tree. Yeah. What's our oh, top? Okay. What's the top down look like? He's, he's hiding us. I feel like I can see an arm through the tree. Nope, that is two darks remaining in that squad. Oh, that's a sniff good. That's pretty big. I mean, I say it's big, but I'm still not convinced. It's enough. Uh, it's enough. The output, if, that's the, if this is if the, blah, 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 if it's the assault cannon, still some good output on it. Yeah, yeah. Well, then he still has two uh, snow trooper units back there that have grenades, right? So. Yeah. So I found out how our dude mine, Medina, did in the second game. Oh, yeah? He lost to uh, a good player in Elliot, 
Um, but he did scare the bejesus out of Elliot um, with his explosions in turn two again. Oh, nice. He got eight, eight of his eight, eight units, damaged Ooh. eight units, yeah. Wow. Uh, and Elliot is running a double IG bounty list. Uh, and he does it well. Uh, Elliot said it was a lovely game and really good, and he was a lovely kid, so uh, he's our little hero. Yeah. Nice. Our, he's our, he's our nice. guy. I wonder how his dad's doing in, 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 his, in his games. He said, he said in the first one he lost. Oh, nuts. So Martin <laughs> lost, and then his dad lost. He goes, oh, it happens. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if let's see who he's looking at the moment. Let's have a look. Got some action in the back there with the purple purple snow troopers moving up to join the fray. Make sure the dark troopers don't fall behind on the attrition. Two hits make it through. They rudely did not roll in the tray for us. How dead how dead they this was shooting at an Ewok and should put a wound on it, wherever it is. Yeah, Lila, we might get Brian on when he go to sleep. And that what that says to me is you shouldn't go to sleep. <laughs> You're young enough, you don't need to sleep. You're good. I hope he has a spicy matchup next. This is a spicy matchup up. He does some fun stuff against Yoda clones or Anakin clones. You see the power of serve your master well. With so many names taking a hit, uh, we've seen Kyle, we've seen yeah. Andy, uh, various others taking a hit. Um, they're two of the two major ones, I think, especially given where they placed last year. Yeah. Do you think there is the potential we have a different champion this year? Because experimental droids. Oh, but have Luke, struggled. Luke is no Kyle or anything. No, no, no. But he, he right. Luke is the Eternal. I'm right. putting it out there as a potential. <laughs> because experiment with droids, we haven't seen them do well at versus the double darks. You're right. That is their and their weakness. If he um, comes across that, is that going to be like, oh dear? But who knows? I'm not saying. I'm not saying he's going to lose. What is? I'm Mr. running a Cook's speculation. If he has an answer to double darks. In fact, let's just see who he's playing. He, my boy, went for double B two. He's playing. Um, Owen Evans from Team Ontario. Dude, he has all kinds of impact answer here. He has Luke Cook has two B2s with the Ha. Yep. He has impact grenades on two of his BXs um, and an RPS on a Magna. Um, I think he could handle it with double repairs. See, he went Magna when you were saying B2s. <laughs> he does have a Magna and two B2s. Oh, yeah, so. both, yeah. Yeah. So I think that's max B2s for EXD. I think you're zero to two. Ah, so he's gone lack of... Lack seconds. of a third B1. Yeah, lack of the other B1 and also lack of T-series. The, the commander, the, the boring T-series, yeah. yeah. He made everything else a little skinnier. Well, at least skinnier B2s and IG to make that happen. We've been joined... Oh, we've been joined by a wild diet. Oh. And John Don is one as well. Well done for Team. He beat Blizzard in four turns. That's fairly nice. impressive. Well done. You know, I'm different. Yeah, five blank white dice, rerolling into two more, three more blanks. That's got to be. What does that got to be? A slinger melee? Oh, it could have been snows. Yeah, I think it was these red based snows. Oh, yeah, you can 
Well, there's no reset in standing between the days, Ellis, or in uh, tournament scores or anything between the days. We didn't make the format. All right, this is another melee from Darks. Looks like three, six, seven. No. Six after, yeah. Six after rerolls. Let's see, that should probably pick up a squad, whether it's the Ewoks or uh, Wicket with one left. Uh, four Ewok wounds. Let's see what gets picked up. So that's four, four Ewok wounds there? Yeah, I'm waiting to see if it was Ewok or if it was Wicket or the, the other squad in melee. Looks like the other one. It's the yep. other squad. Cool. So he's got how many? At that end, he's got one, one, two, three, four, wounds, four so five. He's got five that left. Mu that must have been Wicket. He only picked up one model. That had to have been Wicket. That was Wicket, yes. Yeah. So that other squad has got two, four, five, it looks like. Right. So... And then you can see Logre, the other two-man Ewok squad, and then Leia with three dodges? Where's Leia getting all these dodges from? From that permanent at the beginning, I think. Oh, because Wicket took a dodge, and then it gave We've it to Leia. Some, I think we have some scanners as well. Snowtroopers moving up the stairs here. Leia's portable scanner to make take cover three. If she's passing stuff over to Wicket... It passes back to herself. <laughs> uh, so, like, you take cover That's, on yourself yeah. and Wicket, and you give both of you two dodges. Gotcha. And then you can take the dodge action. So two actions gets you both three dodges and a dodge to someone else. Nice. She doesn't Seven dodges, two actions. But this is the last time she can do that because Wicket just died. Wicket so, died. Yeah. Teamwork is such good fun. They are measuring out uh, if uh, Peter's pay cart... Pay pay cart. Pick 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 Yeah, Peter Potter pick 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 pick. Um, if this can move, could based off of how many units are within range one of it, and it probably is only three for Peter. Oh, it's doing it. One two three versus one two. Yeah, two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Peter, <laughs> you can tell Peter's fully not paying playing the payload to get to his objective. He literally just like looked at it, turned it, and was like, yeah, it's getting over here. There was no like measure, it's gotta get this way, it's gonna he was like, yeah, move it, it's going there. Yeah. <laughs> Which this has been the criticism of payload that is it's kinda like it has been a very quick game. Yeah. So here's the yeah. other Moving here's the other payloads. The other payloads progression here. As you can see, needing to get to uh it's got to a sharp turn. Yep, sharp turn around there. So. so is that one squad that's guiding it, or is there a squad plus C-3PO? No, nope, just, just that one squad. So good odds that the uh, snow's going and disrupt that. Very, very possible. Oh, we already got cards. Somebody save our skins and... Brushes ambitions. Ambition. Somebody has to save our skins. The ultimate one pip. Into the garbage chute, flyboy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to see my identification. These aren't, <laughs> these aren't the droids we're looking for. Your faith in your friends is yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Seth McFarlane. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Good, good, Anakin. Now, <laughs> kill him. Kill him now. Who's scruffy looking? Next up on impressions and Star Wars. <laughs> Come so, on, John, give us your best R2-D2. Who, who needed a soundboard <laughs> when I got you two? Where's your, where's your Wookiee? Yeah. Uh, there is. There was. <laughs> uh, that's my Wookiee. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. You know when we were singing that, that song and that clowns left me, jokes to the right. Here yes. he is. He's stuck like in the middle. <laughs> yeah, he is Steelers wheel right now. Uh, How many more games are we streaming? <laughs> One, four, six, two, seven. Seven more yeah. games. Uh, so no, six. Six. Right. six. One yeah. today, and then three, three tomorrow, then two. One, two three, on Sunday. Two, yeah. yeah. I think with Ollie finishing, we'll, we'll get him to jump in. He can say hello. We can have a chat. Quagmire. <laughs> uh, get, 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 your friends is yours. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> <coughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stewie. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, fat, you fat man. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I can't do it. <laughs> All right, what are we looking at here? He's picking uh, up dice. I assume that was a rally roll. Two out of four made it. Uh, it was one crit. A surge. And a hit. Blacks. Oh. Two blocks. Come on. Sag. I'm thinking that's the... Uh, what was that? That's that one Ewok left. Because Peter has. No, that was Leia's shooting. Because that, cause that oh. was a surge that made a dark trooper yes. make she a save. Yes. She does yep. pierce, yep. though. So the wound, wound's got to go somewhere. Piss. Yeah, he's got a. He put a wound down there back there. It's behind the tree. Yep. Cool. But that, that one Ewok squad only has one left there. <laughs> These, uh. These dark troopers just roll up in a build-a-bear workshop and just completely dismantle it. As far as the bears go. What are the lists? Well, someone might have joined us. Zane, A or B? B. You got it. I'm a, I'll be right back. You go for me. All right, guys, here's, the, uh, here's our Rebel list, Blue list. Tim McKnight from Denver is playing uh, 788. Uh, C-3PO um, with nothing. Wicket, Forest Dweller, Situational Awareness. Leia with Vigilance, Underworld Connections, Portable Scanner. Logray, Herbal Medicine, Secret Ingredients. Chewbacca, it was in the ATST um, with nothing else on it. Rebel Commandos. Uh, DH 447 Sniper, O Push, Emergency Transponders, that was a full commando squad. Yep. Uh, Ewok Slingers with a Trapper and Situational Awareness. Ewok Skirmishers with an Axe, an Ewok Trapper, Call to Arm, Situational Awareness, and the exact same thing duplicated. And then just another Ewok Skirmisher, Nike. Nice. So, uh, on the contrast, I'll do uh, Peter Lyons, Zaconias, Aussie Axe, uh, no, no Aussie accent. <laughs> awesome Krennic, improvised orders, electric binoculars. Bosk, Hunter sees target scopes. Snowtroopers with recon intel impact grenades. Another snowtroopers with a snowtrooper extra scopes and impact grenades. Another snowtrooper with just the binox. Dark troopers, two of them, both with program loyalty, both with frag launcher, both with assault cannon, but one of them has an extra dark trooper, and they are your lists. The um, the Aussie is running at 800 points, and the American. Is running 7 at 788. He has a 12 point bid. We are now joined by Oli Dyer. Hello. Who's finished his game. He won. 3 0. I, I did. 3 0. 3 0. Yep. That's all good. <laughs> you know, we've done the impressions, mate. You missed that bit. <laughs> <laughs> there, was love, love, there was some love for the impressions. We had the uh, we had old Emperor Palpatine over here. Yep. Yep. Uh, Stewie, what? Stewie, what, yeah. me? <laughs> 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 uh, no, you're Tawil Patine. Oh, sorry, Tawil Patine. Yeah, Tawil Patine. Uh, there, yeah, there we go. Tawil Patine. Um, yep, so obviously got payload going on. Um, Zirconia, has done, Zirconia has done a lot of work and wiped out the ATSD, wiped out a few, uh, I was about to say, Wookiees, Ewoks. Um, Do you know they were meant to be Wookiees? Yeah. Before, before they decided to put Ewoks in the film. Star Wars trivia. Oh, so, well, right, just, get you, yeah, just get you a bit closer. Go, gotta, get, gotta get me mic'd up. It's not, it's Thanks, Lila. It's, like, <laughs> it's just like being at the podcast. Let's go! <sighs> yeah, but like, um, I played Zyconia yesterday, and phenomenal player. Absolutely phenomenal player. 
Uh, and his list is absolutely terrifying, especially if you've got anything that resembles armor. Oh, you did you lose to him yesterday? Yeah, yeah, I lost, yeah I, okay. I, I lost to I lost to Pete yesterday. Um, I, I have to say, I'm a, I'm a touch confused by what the Ewoks Life. are doing at the moment. Um, uh, that, there's, yeah. there, there's, there, there's a few bits there where, like, so you, you have some surge to crit. Like, there are there are ways that, you know, I, I get that with the actual Ewok slingers and stuff. It's got um. Oh, what's the word for it? The money they can't make crits. Oh, you mean uh, primitive? Primitive. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. the one. Primitive. But like, yeah. if, you. if you're engaging the dark troopers, then like your commandos on a full boat, you know, maybe an aim, maybe two. Like, try and finish off that blue squad. The moment you take a full unit of darks out of uh, Zyconia's list, it it does. But struggle is the wrong word for it. Um, but it, you know, it's certainly a lot better than. Uh, <laughs> than them running Ewoks in, 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 in my opinion. But again, like, and also where Leia's placed at the moment, considering that um, Crocodile Dunbosk has got, um, <laughs> has got a good, uh, a good, that's, a good, a that's good not a real B rifle. You call that, you call that a rifle? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he had a, he had a knife last year, and he, he said it, it fell off, so he had to replace it with the, with the rifle. So, um, and what? we just, we just had a, a Logre activate and do a herbal medicine to bring hello? back one of those Ooh, Ewoks. Hello. That was a, who's, who's firing? That's no, it's, a. It's Pete's got it. Yeah. Uh, it's a six. It is probably the... Uh, and then after cover, such five blanks. You had took all the paint away in that dice tray when you were rolling your white dice. That's an Ewok uh, unit eliminated. Yep. I'll tell you right now, Cockles. I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> nor, nor, nor should you, to be fair. I get it. So, we have had, so those dark troopers now have taken out Wicket and a full Ewok squad that ran into them head first. So... So I, mean, I mean, absolutely. Like, hats off for aggression. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be fair, I would imagine that's how an Ewok would see, would deal with... You know, like, yeah. And that's right, that sort of thing. Uh, and then gets splattered quite violently, I imagine. All right, so it looks like that other two-man Ewok squad moving forward to, to take a shot at uh, the red... Oh, that's a, that's a wound throw. Probably right. you want in top down view? Yeah, I was gonna, uh, just wondering which point it was. Oh, we should do that. Fundable. So I was just going to get up for Ollie's sake and the viewers at Homes, where you have. That's where Tim's going to bottom right. That's where Peter's going. Top left. Top left. Yep. That's Peter's. And uh, Tim's is up there. Yep. So he's got to swing down because he couldn't get through this. So he, I think Peter's just going to ignore it. But unless that fits through there. Yeah, which I mean, Peter with his bunk art, he he fully just went like eh, and just like picked it up and moved it. I think a he's, little bit. He's fully accepting the fact that he might have a points win, and he's just gonna because he's got a squad of snows around here somewhere. Yeah, he's right moving north here. to hide to get these uh, Ewoks up there. What? What is it? Just the one squad of Ewoks that are yeah. up, uh, underneath the C three PO is C three PO is hiding behind the C3PO tree. C three behind the tree. Okay, so I mean, from here I'll like, show you. All, all it's all that payload has to do is just move what twice. And it's scoring. So he's so he's got the score laid out here, right? He's he's yeah. showing where where that can go. It's so two and, turns and, left. And, and we're saying that you can move over the barrier, like it's oh, yeah. like the handlebars. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Thank you, Andy cool. Sandberg. <laughs> Outrageous. What do we got here? Uh, what was that? Four black dice. It looks that way. But that's the probably the light. Blue dark troopers punching Logre, maybe. Uh, I think that was actually Snows, Snows. Um, doing a steady shot. Was Frags. it? Yeah, with the with with, with their, their impacts. Yeah. Unless you're paired with Wee Bear, he's on stream next. Oh, if, if you, is that just guaranteed? I he's think on, we, he's on stream. We, it's, it's kind of like we want him. We want to see what because he's playing such a crazy and list. It, it's the lit. It's the list. Um, I mean, you could just ask. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if uh, if Brian if Brian's due to be on the stream, then yeah, I mean his his list is his list is pretty good. So, yeah, I mean, du double bus with like um, fleets and, and Luke.
Tactical mute. Tactical, tactical mute. <laughs> Uh, but no, like we we this is absolutely phenomenal. Um, <laughs> d double bus is it five fleets? I think so. Yeah, uh, five fleets, five um, five repair bots and the guns on the buses. Yeah, yep. guns on the buses. Yep. Um, play, playing that last game, then I kept forgetting that you had guns on his buses. One because they weren't modelled on the bus, and two because I don't have guns you don't on my buses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, I'll take a standby. So like, like, oh, like, I'll, I'll, I'll take a standby. It's like, cool. He's just gonna move. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, like, oh, and then he shot, shot me, and I went, like, oh. He <laughs> 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 shot me. <laughs> Outrageous. Oh, hang on a second. We've not we've we've not tuned you out. We're we're still listening, Lila. You're just talking about you're just talking about something that we can't really get involved in on stream because yeah. it's not what we're here for. Yeah. Start start talking about Legion. We're we're we're, we're, we're absolutely there. Right, Leslie. I think well, a, a, a bomb yeah. cart can't move over anything that's that's higher than its handlebars. Yeah. Um, which was uh, you know, which which is why I, I had wondered about the uh, the barricade. Do you know the uh, the flow bots? The what? The flowbots. The flow I bots. can drive my payload with the handlebars. No handlebars. Too no old handlebars. I mean, I'm, I'm bopping for it, but yeah. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not how it goes. I added payload in. It's, it's I can ride my bike with no handlebars. So. That's, uh, I feel like I'm too old for that. That was college for me. So, Tom, I, I, I did nearly get tabled by a uh, callous double bounty list before it was good. Uh, mostly by some really odd character in England. Like he's got a bit of a mullet, kind of walks a bit like a, a yeti. So I mean, if you if you know who it is, like please feel free to drop it in the chat and let people know. But oh, it looks yeah. like uh, Snow's just moved up underneath that uh, awning there and took a shot at C3PO. I'm guessing, but they blanked out. Or they got one. Yeah, they got one. So yeah, I think I think the Ewoks are in. I think the Ewoks are outnumbering the uh, the Ewok cart at the moment. Sorry, no, sorry, I'll re rephrase that. I think the Ewoks are outnumbering the Dark's cart at the moment. Again, I can't. I'll, uh, I'll look at the transition the, shortly. And so on this, on this back end here, he's going to have potentially three different units that can help move this payload forward. Now, it's just one lone commando leader and then C-3PO, so not a whole lot of beef are we, to are support we, are we, that. Are we going to see an attack into that commando? Oh. Uh, looks like there was a crit and a hit there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Oh. And a miss. So if that's into that commando, I'm, I'm assuming that's into that commando. No. Oh, okay. On the uh, interesting one that's going to take place is that Crocodile, Crocodile Bosky uh, is the uh, has bountied Leia. Yes. Um, so that could be interesting because she's obviously up close and personal. Yep. Uh, near to Bosk, so that would be ent interesting. Thank you. That's a perfect view. Bosk is to your right, behind He's the stairs. Just, just above. Yeah, see the hat. In between the two torches there. Yeah. Yep. You see the hat, and then yeah. Leia is right, right at your right at your three o'clock. Uh, Dan Thompson, yeah, I, 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 I understand. Like, they're, they're not going to take control as such, but they can obviously hinder the uh, the dart troopers being able to move the cart. Yeah, uh, I would, I would really, really like to make like Saturday and Sunday. I'm, I'm going to take each game as it comes so far. I, I had a, I had a rough run yesterday, and honestly, I went into the event today, being there like, look, what, however far I go, amazing. Yeah, like you know, if I if I lose my first game, I lose my first game, and that's and that's just the way it is. Yeah, uh, and you're playing against like, some of the world's best players. Uh, in the room, so any loss you take, you know, you, you can't be you can't be mad at it at all. Yeah, at you that can, point, you can be upset with it. Ah, uh, if you're Andy, well, yeah, <laughs> or Dave. <laughs> I think. So what happened with Dave, Mr. Grant? So time, from what I so gather, is that right? So so, yeah. so 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 here's a bit of a weird one. So although although they communicate with each other that yet yeah, we'll you know we'll get through X amount of rounds, um, it it's almost. Like and it isn't because they're doing it in a correct manner, but it's almost it's almost classed as collusion bet between players, yeah. because the tournament finishes when that like your round finishes when your round finishes. Yeah, like, yeah, you, that's you, it. like you have no say in that. But yeah. saying outside like you know we're just going to play through to whenever we want, yeah. um, you know that's that, that's trying to that's trying to get through details again. Like I I get Dave's frustration with it, but as I said to people yesterday, as soon as you reach that table and you've shaken your opponent's hand. Um, or, you know, give him oh. a nod or, or a fist bump, set your timer to Boss, 2 hours 30. Boss took a shot at Leia. Leia has four wounds now. Oh, there we go. Oof. Pierced. And yeah, she's, which uh, she's which does, world, does Peter have his one pip on Boss left? Uh, I didn't see because I went away to the bathroom. I can not tell you. But his one pips would be he played Voracious Ambition. Okay. Merciless Munitions is the other one. 
I feel like he Which played the, that already. This is the Bath the Bomb one. Oh, that's Dioxus. If, if we're turn four, I assume he's gone for... Oh, yeah. He's already played, like, Krennic's 2 pip, no, right? For the standby. Just, that's the Dioxus one. Because you've oh, got okay. Lying in Wait is the Ames. The Tilly Rampage takes a wind to do that's, the move. Yep, that's right. Yeah, um, Merciless Mercilous Munitions is the bomb one, the bomb right? one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bomb, uh, bomb and Poison, specifically. <laughs> the bomb and Poison on Leia, Ewoks, and the what's shot. The, what's the range on? Is it one? Yeah, so then he gets to make a speed one move away. So it's throw out at one. Right. And then it's got a one, a range one radius. Right, right, right. Uh, I mean, he, once he throws it, he gets to make a speed one move. That's Sabine. That's Sabine. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But like, that so was Martin they, this morning. They, they, yeah. they, 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 wouldn't, they wouldn't give that to Boss because obviously he just regenerates. So. Right. Are we looking at command cards here? Yep. I'll go find out. Here, I can, if they're going to flop them, yeah, I think they just flopped them right here. Mm. Yeah, we need yeah, no less all that. Right now. What was the name of your list? So, my, the name of my list for this tournament was Dogs and Dirt, a meal by Andy Terrell. <laughs> um, yesterday's list name was Dogs are a man's best friend, unless you're Andy Terrell. So, you know, there's, I, I'm, I'm nothing if not thematic. <laughs> I retain on theme throughout. All right, so. Is that boss one pip? Ewok three pip. Command cards played were. Yep. Versus 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 and for the tribe. tribe. Which that means boss could probably go and throw that grenade right down near Leia and try and take her out and get the bounty. Bosk does do a speed one move after throwing on his one pip. See, I'm According not crazy. Sebezra. I'm not crazy. I play this game too. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> so, yeah, um, obviously, Mer Mer uh, 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 um, <laughs> Zane's possessed. <laughs> Tim just said, as I, as I passed the cards back, he said, please apologise to the streamers for my awful game. And I was like, no, you're fine. No. You you're here, man. Yeah. Carry on. Like, um, you, you can't play against the Angry Koalas and not get absolutely... You know, <laughs> run over. Well, not only that, but like you're you're two and zero. Yeah. Like you got to two and zero for a reason at a world yeah. championship. Yeah. And, so. and, and also, like the game is not over. No, no, no. not 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 by a long stretch. That his uh, his cart is more likely to get into place to score oh, we need to. than Peter's cart. But Leia needs needs to uh, not die. Yeah, not die. Bosk. Do you want to twist it your way? Or? We're not touching just because cables loose. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't. I shouldn't be trusted near electronics anyway. <laughs> Where's my water? There it is. Cross moving has been a challenge this morning. Here we go. All right, so that was Leia gone. I think bounty collected from Bosk. We are bounty right? up. I don't think we're making. I don't think we're pretending anybody's a god if they make it to Worlds, Prairie Pirates. Um, but no, like making it to Worlds just in itself is an achievement. Like, you, like this is the largest Legion event there has ever been in the yeah. world. So, like anybody who like managed to get a ticket for it, like hats off to them. Like, fair enough. And and especially for those like all those players who've travelled overseas to make it as well. Like again, like well yeah. done. Like this, yeah. this is a phenomenal event. It's a huge event. It's yeah, a huge yeah. undertaking to get here. Yeah. You know, and it's. Um, I think I think Michael Maria, Ramirez had like a dog related uh, list name Tom. <laughs> Louisa, I will never run out of dog references. Don't you worry. I will continue. <laughs> I will continue for a long time. So long as I keep making top in events, I'll keep adding random list names <laughs> for <laughs> mildly derogatory to Andy. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we got movement by Ewoks. Are they are they going to try and base the snowtroopers? I think they. I think they did because I think there's a snowtrooper on the other side of the. Yep, there was oh. one leader They've that he had. Full red hot chili peppers and gone the other side. That's right. Cohered yeah. forward there, so those Ewoks will now base the uh, snowtroopers and uh, see if they can uh, yub nub oh, the way. See, I didn't realize Krennic was there. Do you think Krennic's going to just basically run the other way to, to, to block that? I think he's going. Yeah, Krennic double that, that way. Krennic double move to go towards that payload. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. He's not looks, like two, looks like two, two. snowtroopers going yeah. down. It's because they're fighting in the grass. That's right. That's right. Not used to it. For, forestry is not there. Not, <laughs> it's, not, it's not their dojo. This is not my terrain. <laughs> I train in snow. That's why I wear I, snow I, armor. I don't only snow. <laughs> what is this green stuff? It's just never been to a forest planet before. Can you imagine that? Like, they only train in snow, never seen forest, and they deploy them on a forest, and they're like, what is this? 
<laughs> Why am I so hot? Hot, hot. <laughs> what is this stuff called? Sweat? <laughs> Yeah. One, two, four. What are you doing with your armor? It's got grass stains on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so back here in this back, we have that payload cart. Could still potentially move. Uh, it's it, it's going to be a real tough one. Like uh, he has snows on the first level of the. Uh, oh of the, of, of, oh of, yes, of, he does. Of, of That's right. Tier tower. So and that looks to me, assuming I mean I've played on it, so I know. So that is a speed. You can speed one move down it. Yeah. And then speed one move again. Uh, at, at which and point? Get the relentless. Yeah. Yeah. Well, which, steady, uh, at, at which point, like and you I think know, just crit fishing into that rebel commander. I think Peter just moved his uh, dark troopers in range of three PO. He just measured and moved, and that, that is oh, a where, where, shot. where were them rolls yesterday? All right. <laughs> <laughs> so two and a three PO. You blocked that. <laughs> three PO's magic armor. Outstanding. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine? Can you imagine three PO just getting blasted by dark troopers and just like his pinky gets shot off? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh, oh why? Oh, oh my. Kevin, what do you mean people are trolling here? I've not seen much of it. Wait, what did that? Oh, he rallied the suppression off. Yeah. Well, that's, well, that's C-3PO at least safe for this turn. Well, he's got he's he's within range of that cart to move it again. So. so you 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 move in the snows down, double move, and then shoot that commander, won't you? But yeah, yeah, yeah. You you would have to you'd have to move him down to to negate that cart moving. It just stay there. And then take out that other commando. So yeah, double move steady. Hopefully take out the yeah. commando and yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, get that got activation there. So the the only um, the only the, the only way that that could have worked is if they'd have yubnub the whole snowtrooper unit. Yeah. Um, and then at that point it. All right. I mean, I mean, I guess the darks just turn and shoot the Ewoks instead. But from that roll, they he, got like. He's just taking another dark shot here. Yeah, he's in range two now. Shooting at? At C-3PO, I believe. You can't. He's behind the, like, tucked from, I mean, I, at least that, that's what I thought. Unless I'm, unless I'm really missing or, something. Or he's shooting at that commando. Let's see what he takes off. Yeah, yeah commando. commando. Yeah, Black commando. Yep. That, was, that was big because now those snows can come down and contest that that payload and it doesn't move. Well, they, they, they already had um, because he's got Krennic there as well. Just tucked under the uh, oh, because Krennic the tree. Move, yeah, yeah. So Krennic moves, and the snows move from top. So it yeah. would have been three, three on that side anyway. So yeah. um, I think. Where's, yeah. where, where's Leia gone? Leia She's done. Bounty you got the bounty. Yep. Oh, I, I missed that. <laughs> I, I don't know, Jeff. It is. It is all the yeehaw, Killy. Um, I'm. I'm full of it. Full of the yeehaw. Right, it's a. It's a lovely looking Basque model. I just love the hat. <laughs> the hat that does it for me. <laughs> Even when I had a knife last year, it, was, it didn't look as good as a like, hat and a rifle. Yeah. So I guess he's now moving his Ewoks to try and base. I think he was trying to see if he could base Krennic. I think that's what he was measuring there, and he was just just shy. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal. Uh, again, he's putting in a valiant effort for sure, but I just don't think he reaches his, uh, his bomb cart. With this, and again, like he's gonna have to move it at least twice, and that's another four dark trooper shots. Yeah, three. Uh, but it's an additional boss darks. Like so much stuff. Yeah, and I'm I'm sure uh, time is probably becoming a thing here. I mean, I, I cancelled my timer, but when I when I finished, I had about 45 minutes. Uh, according to what I imagined, I had about like 55 minutes left. Okay. So and it's been at least I don't know half hour. So he's deciding to just go ahead and double move those Ewoks, even though he can't can't base anything. I think he's just trying to get them that direction as much as possible. Is that is that low gray fighting dark troopers there? Yes, it is. Yep. That'd be a sight. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't think you were here earlier. I, I said. I said. Anyway, essentially, it was like a NASCAR pit crew, like running through these these dark troopers, just like <laughs> and just like. Arms are just falling off and stuff as they're like knocking stuff out. NASCAR oh, good, they're closing the vendor hall now. Is NASCAR that thing where they only just turn left? Yeah, that's all they do. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I imagine Ewoks could taste like chicken. I've never had one, so <laughs> um, someone will have to let me know. Tyler Khan's on stream. You want to see experimental droids? Um, I will leave that up to Mr. Zane and Cockles. Um, we are. We're not picking on lists. We're picking on play, on, on on record and player. Yeah, yep, record record and then country of origin. So if I we mean, can. I'm trying to get as many people on from other countries as possible. Yep. And, and EXDs was the highest battle force chosen Correct. out of all of the factions, like 22 EXDs. So I'm sure we will have them, if not today, then tomorrow. Well, so. I, like Jeff, Jeff Parrott from the UK, I'm not, I mean, I've not seen his results come in yet, but I know he was 2-0. Oh. Let me have a look, see if there's any results on the docket. No, uh, right, so so it doesn't, doesn't look like it. He's still 2-0 he's still oh according to uh, Uplink, so... Uh, Krennic just double move to be within range one of that cart. <laughs> Pounding on the table, Tyler Khan. <laughs> uh, Nicholas, have you played Tyler Khan? <laughs> you, you, is, what, how much has he offered you? <laughs> yeah. For, for so, um, result, uh, Scott Serrato from Capital Capos was uh, beaten by Paul Paella. Um I don't know if he's anyone, anyone knows anyone? No, that's... Uh, Christoph uh, Whitas was beaten by Mike uh, Knark. Uh, Joe Rapuzzi beat uh, from Chile. Jo Jose, sorry. Jose Rapuzzi uh, beat Stuart uh, Johnson. Nathan Gribble beat Matt Bronson. Oh, wow, really? Uh, sorry, no, 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 sorry, no, Matt, no, Matt, no, Matt uh, Bronson beat Zeus 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 beat uh, Nathan Gribble. So that yeah, is, me, oh, not, okay. So that is uh, LVO winner of uh, not this year gone, the one before, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um, versus the winner of LVO this year just gone. I played Nathan yesterday. Uh, lovely opponent. Battered me. Uh, Malik Jones <laughs> uh, beats Martin. No. Sorry, but we did. Uh, we did Martin. Martin. So the snowtroopers just with, withdrew from the melee of those Ewoks. Team Australia update. Johnny Wombat is 2-1. and one. Well done, Johnny Wombat. Uh, he beat Mark Olivier uh, Rouleau. Uh, Tim Bow is now 1 2, losing to Sean Rushmer. Austin Miller oh, is 2 and 1. And Log Christopher Lane. Logray took out one of the uh, Dark Troopers. There's oh, only, wow. the, only the one left. <laughs> <laughs> donk, donk. And, and, he, and Peter just drew me. He has, he has a crit. One single crit here. John Griffin beat Kev Jones. And uh, does that do Logray in? Yep, it does. So. Wagre takes one out, but takes takes out himself in, in rushing in there. Yeah. Is Johnny Wombat, uh, that, is a, that is a good name. I think Boba Darks has been crushing souls for a long time. I've seen quite a few variations of like Bounty Hunter Double Bark. Um, like Krennic. Krennic seems to be the flavor of Australia at the moment. Yeah. And I, I can see why, like that, 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 that's, that, well, no, <laughs> that's that standby. Yeah. That standby card, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, Deploy the Garrison has always been a solid card from Krennic. But it needed Darks to make it, like, Better, worthwhile. Yeah. To, to see the, the, the vision made true. Chris Reese um, is 2-1. and one Wow. And beat Kevin Kilgore, 52-80. Nice. Wow, so... He just, sa he just double saved again with white dice. <laughs> oh wow! But but low gray's gone. No, he was shooting uh, his snows. Did I, did I miss low gray die? He was shooting his snows into. Um... Yeah, yeah, low gray just died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, is low gray four wounds? And I thought it was five. Uh, sorry, I think he's four. Because uh, I, I thought, yeah. Because he had three and then he took the one, yeah. I guess he's four. Yeah, well, that's strange. I, 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 thought he was, I thought he was five. How many is Wicket? Is Wicket five? Six? Wicket's five. Wicket, Wicket's five. I would have thought Logan would have been the same, but um, no, fair enough. So did all the people now lose their chance to be 4 and make it in the next round? Oscar... Beat Ryan, Ryan right. Swarovski, Snapcast. Oh, so, Ryan's out. So, Kevin, the top 32 players go through from today, um, regardless of score. So, um, I believe 
there's going to be something in the range. After this round, there's going to be about 22 undefeated. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw the vast majority of those players um, take the uh, intentional draw as, as is seen as in the Galactic Conquest um, to almost kind of guarantee themselves in um, to uh, day two. Uh, obviously, you will, you will still see, but like uh, another, another 10 players um, will obviously get in on three wins and a draw that have drawn earlier in the tournament or potentially a couple of uh, three wins and one loss, but it'll be the highest... Um, SOS uh, among the three wins and a loss that would get through. Unfortunately, if you do lose a game today, um, it does because then because it's not resetting tomorrow. It does mean that you can't make the top four um, because the top four record. Main cards turn six. Ooh. Annihilation looms. That would be annihilation and looms and standing orders. Uh, Evan Boris uh, lost his own three. He lost to oh, Nav in Nav from the UK. That, that man is the definition of yeehaw. What, Nav or Evan? <laughs> Evan. Evan, Evan. <laughs> say, Evan Nav. for sure. Yeah, Evan. Evan. Uh, oh, Lee Mackin's 0-3. Uh, That's a shame. That Temp is a shame. Tempest Force, so Tempest Force, honestly, if you get three bad matchups, like, you're, in for, you're in for a rough old time. October, 3-0. and oh. Ooh. Uh, he beat he beat Nathan Morgan. So Kevin, there, oh, there, there, there are my, my there, Tennessee buddy. There are other players. There is there is one English player right now, um, Mr. John Dunn from the London series. So he's two wins and a draw as it stands right now. So if he wins his next game, he'll also be on three wins and a draw. So depending on what players do now, you know we've all been here for like nine hours. 10 hours, prob probably longer. I've been here since like 7 o'clock this morning, yeah, so yeah, ele 11 hours yeah. uh, we've been here. So, And for a lot of the players as well, especially some have travelled in last night. Um, I think, was it Florf? Yeah, Flor Florf got in last night at like 11. Yeah. yeah. And, um, so yeah, so I think a lot of people are tired. Uh, I think a lot of people are tired. So if they want to take the intentional draw, you know, after you've played three games, you could, you could at this point because the top 32 players will all be undefeated, which is what you would have gotten from a three-day tournament. Sorry, a, a three-round tournament with 256 players. So I think, you know, um, the one thing, the one thing that's going to hurt for John is because he had a draw earlier. Well, he's going to hurt going later. His, you know. his his strength of schedule is one at the moment. Um, so that's not okay. Not, not, you know, it's not overly bad. Um, two being the highest you can be at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can top four if you draw, I think. Um, but you'd have to be one of the. You'd have to be like the highest ranking top four. Oh my gosh! Is C3PO about to base these snow troopers? That's that's a pulp move. Is he get a clumsy kick? That's a pulp move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays out for him. It also, de it also depends on how many players All right, here we go. draw at the end of clumsy. today. Is this a clumsy kick coming in? Oh, if this kills a snowtrooper, a snowtrooper, it could be one of the funniest things to happen in the game. Huh? Oh. Oh, and then he just disengaged. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, was it? Was <laughs> he, just, he then just went with the snowtrooper and said, yeah, that's nice, I'm just disengaging you. <laughs> did, did, why don't you go for a punch? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a dodge. Bright, Bright Tree Village has no attack. Oh, bright three. Oh, that's right. Do you not have clumsy kick or whatever it is? No, 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 that's, no. On, that's on. That's on. That's on oh, a rebel 3PO. Two, I just saw two shields being rolled. Yeah. I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> oh, that, I think that was for Ewoks hacking. Uh, it's a shame he has no clumsy kick. Ooh. Ooh. So this is uh, impact grenades into three PO. Uh, yep, that four, four and two. Four, two and two. Crit, two crit six. Off the cover, then two. Oh, points. three PO's out. <laughs> <laughs> There's the game. <laughs> I'll go check. All right, Peter. Peter winds up taking that. Someone. Someone. Uh, Someone please screenshot that right there. <laughs> All right, so that is that is game three, everybody. Our 
Uh, Our Aussie takes it. Uh, fantastic. Um, Kevin, I, I don't think you need to win all games to get through to the final on Sunday. You can take a draw and still top four. Uh, on, the, on, on, on the maths of it, um, I'm relatively certain that you can. Yeah, I'm not a math person. But it'd be it'd be interesting to see what like, it'd be interesting to see how many. I think we should have 32 undefeated uh, at the end of this round. Oh yeah! It's like the little. Uh... Put him, put him by the cart on the other side. Yeah, Kevin, if you can message it through to the That's No Moon Facebook page or to Yavin Base, uh, one of us will be able to pick it up. So I'd like to show you guys this right here. This is, this is uh, Peter Lyons' uh, paint job on his uh, Dark Trooper. He's got the Aussie flag on the uh, shoulder pauldron. And then you can see uh, Krosk right there. So, love it, love it. Thank you all for tuning in for game three. We will be getting pairings here for uh, round four and then uh, hopefully getting another game going. As all I told you guys, there is high possibility if players will take the intentional draw um, in this next round to just uh, save themselves uh, legs and energy for tomorrow. Um, it, 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 the, the games are only going to get harder. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just, I was just be crying by the end of the day. Yep. <laughs> yep. I've got nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after four, really you stream four for a day, it's like, oh, oh man, we had four yesterday, four today. You start feeling that exact sentiment. So. Oh, absolutely. Oh yeah, that, that, that flag is well painted. Uh, not quite as good as my, you know, award-winning Blizzard Force, but I'll, 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 de I'll definitely give him. Uh, I'll, get, I'll, I'll definitely give him five out of five down unders for oh, that. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. oh there's, a, there's yeah. a rating system for Australia's fans. Of there course. We go. Yeah. Mate, that's five out of that's five out of five yeah. down unders. Yeah. I'd give that. I'd give that nine out of ten creatures that'd kill you for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Five out of five. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet? Oh, yeah, I'll give that one a, a 10 out of 10. Good on you, mates. <laughs> <laughs> where, did, where did Bushman go? All right, guys, we're going to uh, put this. Oh, mercy me. All right, guys, we're going to switch this over real quick. We'll be right back in just a little bit. Stay on the stream. We are not cutting this off. We are just going to mute and uh, regroup and be back with uh, turn four shortly. Thanks, guys. Well, it's not ending. That's the wrong one. I need the BRB. <laughs> Boom, there we go. All right, we'll be back, guys.
Hello, viewers. Just Cockles here. Very quick one for you. There is an issue with Game Uplink at the moment. We are working on... Well, not we. It is being worked on. I thought I'd let you know. Uh, so bear with. As soon as we know what's going on, we will have players down to play games and let you uh, enjoy the final game of the day. We're hoping, all being well and with no uh, other issues going on, we're hoping it might be, might be Wee Bear uh, with his double bus and five fleets. But... We'll let you know. Thank you for your patience. See you tomorrow.
evening stream. I just thought I'd jump in because I've been looking at the chat. So, yeah, there is the debates about intentional drawing going up and or who can do what. Uh, here's a scenario for you. If you look at the current top 32, they're all undefeated. The next two afterwards are 2 and 0 oh and 1, which is John Dunn and Smiley. Here's the theory. If, all, if the games were played and it was a fourth game and all 32 above them intentionally drew, there is a potential that from position 18 to 32, that if they intentionally draw and the players in position um, 33 and 34, Smiley and John Dunn win, that they were to make Saturday because their strength of schedule is higher and they haven't lost. Um, so that is a scenario that is very real. It's a very complicated scenario. Uh, I was having that chat with the guys at 5280 who were like, oh, I see. So it's something that the anyone who's uh, in, the ne in the next position from 32 to 18 need to consider because they haven't got the strength of schedule that the other two have. So worth considering. It looks like, though, Finn's over here, so maybe a game is going to happen, so bear with.
Good evening, chat. Cockles here. Uh, we have a game. I can offer you a game. We have Austin Miller representing Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, bear with me as I find a game. As I find who find his opponent because he. I want to pronounce his name correctly. We have Austin Miller, Florida man, versus Michal Wisniewski. Uh, his middle name is um, Mkruczny, I think. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But we have, uh, so Michael Wisniewski from uh, Poland versus Austin, Florida man, Miller. Um, so, Holly, if you are on, it finally happened. Your son's on stream and I'm camera here for you. So that's all good. Um, obviously, apologies for the longer than expected delay, strictly because we were working out a, there were kinks with game up uh, yep. that needed kink working out, and B, uh, there are players who are uh, legitimately 3-0 who are opting to take draws because they're in a position that is strong and they're able to do so. Um, there are people who would have needed to have seriously considered not doing that uh, based on their position, as I said earlier. So if John Dunn and Smiley both win and some of the guys above them lose slash intentionally draw, they have a chance, especially if they lose, they have a chance of uh, going through. So it is important for those two particular players to, to uh, for, the, for the rest of them. So uh, let's wish them well. I know already I can offer you a result uh, that uh, Jared and Ethan have, well, Jared has said, yeah, I've won, and uh, Ethan Rollins has lost. Um, I assume that he just conceded. Um, Intentional draw in with a two, 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 and ones with Trevlin Goss uh, from the Netherlands or oh, Team NH, New Hampshire, maybe yeah. Uh, and Simon Rakowski. Uh, so there's the draw there. They've both two and one. Brian Bear, who we really wanted to get on stream, but it's not happening. Versus Oscar, they have ch they have opted to draw. Um, obviously, as time goes on, that we may see some more draws. I know Ollie Dyer was considering the draw. Um, We'll just see what goes on. Uh, I'm just reload. Let's just reload. See if anything else has come through because these draws will come in early because the opponents will talk talk to each other and go that'll happen. So oh, Brian, don't tell me you're part of the problem with the reloading game up link incessantly. Oh no, I'm not re. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> one of our own. Um, I'm just seeing if anyone else has uh, opted for the draw, uh, other than we bear. That's it. Hold on, and I've got a question. Yes, please. Yes. They're asking do it in the dice tray. if they can ask to do the flop in the dice, in the dice tray, tray so you. we can see. Um, that's cool. Uh, right, let me go into the chat. So, hello, chat. Uh, Holly, you're here. Thank you. Uh, well, Austin's on, so he's playing Michael. Um, Victor, Victor Busamante, how many Legion World Championships has AMG been involved with now? It's, uh, it's fair to presume that they may that maybe they wanted to use the original text as FG wrote to them. So, maybe, yep. So, look, I think. I, I said to I said to John, John, you, you heard me say this. My 50 pence worth is here. They advertised it as a four game, three game, two game. Yep. No one. So everyone in my head, everyone's going to. Everyone really doesn't really have a complaint to say. Oh no, I didn't want to, because that was advertised. You expect you, you come here for four games. Then tomorrow you get three, and all that stuff. Equally, if you're if you have travelled far, and I don't just mean travelled far from Europe or South America or wherever, you've travelled. Get your money's worth. You're at Adepticon. Get your money's worth. Enjoy it. You'll have fun. Yeah, everyone's tired. It's but you knew what we signed up to. That sort of thing. It's a, this is what happens when it's elite stuff. Um, that's my opinion. Doesn't mean I'm right. I'm just offering my opinion. Uh, there will be other people who differ. Uh, I know that um, Antoine was asking a question. Could that happen? And here we have the flop. So what we got? Payload battle lines hostile. Halo battle. What were the two that were uh, folded? Did you see? I don't know. No. Oh, okay. It happened very it happened quick. Very quickly. Yeah, yeah. Well, we missed like another payload. Twenty game. seconds. Yeah, payload. What did I say? Payload battle, hostile. Payload battle, battle lines hostile. Battle lines hostile. Okay. Payload. I don't think payload likes this map. Uh, I mean, I think this this map prevents presents you with some choices yep. that aren't terrible with payload, but they are choices you have to make. They are choices nonetheless, yeah. Um, but it's not as bad or as gotcha as some other tables can be with payload. Yep. So I think it's fine. Uh, Stabcast Ryan, I believe, is still in it, but he's two and one. Do, the, do they pair down? So Austin has... So uh, Michael Wesniewski has paired down. 
That is, this is interesting. This means game uplink. There are two O ones, right? There two, two, two two O ones. So, why did a three O player? Uh, so why did a nine tournament point player, a three O player, get paired against a two one, a six tournament point player, instead of one of the seven tournament points? Don't know. Is the honest I answer? It, I think it's a bug. It's or a, not yeah. a bug, but something not accounted for. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I think. Yeah. I think. I, if you'd have asked me there's going to be a couple of draws, I would have been like, mm, that's surprising, because don't, we don't experience draws too often over my neck of the woods. Well, neither do we. I don't, exactly. This is uh, because it's Worlds, yeah. and because it's double the size it's ever been. And I was saying to send to the chat, I, don't, I can't remember if you were in it or not just a minute ago, or you had your headphones on. Nah. The, 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 the lots of the 5280 guys were debating on intentional draw uh, from, in, in, between positions 18 and 32. The issue they had was if they take that draw and the two players below them, who are the two two oh ones, right? they both have a stronger strength schedule, and they win. Only one of them would win because they'd be paired against each other in that scenario. No, I think they've, no, where they've been paired. They can't pair together because they're both the same. They drew with each other already. They played, they played together already. How would they? They're 201. There's two 201. So they drew, drew together. They're the only two 201s? I believe, yeah. And without, played together? That is weird. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cause, well, uh, there must be two 201s because... They're the ones that drew. Well, one could have lost later, you know. Like. Oh, maybe yeah, true. Um, right. they're, they're, I, I they're not to, the only ones that have drawn in I'll the double, whole event. I'll double check that. Sure. But uh, either way, but so yeah. assuming they don't pair together, and they both win. And yes, then then all of a sudden your pool of 32 301s becomes 34 301s. Correct. And only 32 of them continue. And the, from position 18 to 32, both have a have a lower strength of schedule. Then on average, yeah. On average, not so necessarily. But it's a on gamble average, yes. that people should consider. I was actually talking to, hi Zane. I was talking to the 5280 guys yes. who they weren't aware of this and they started seeing it and went, you might not need, you might not want to do that just in case, because then here's, it becomes a potential lottery. Here's the bigger point: um, not just making it to the cut Saturday, but um, making it to the cut Sunday. Yeah. Making it to the cut Sunday in a normal no-draw world yes. was going to be, uh, let's see, two seven zeros and two six ones. Yep. But as soon as, so there's going to be a lot of six ones. Those two six ones are going to be decided by, um, what you call it, tiebreakers. Yep. And you taking a draw right now puts you in the in the hands of tiebreakers for making it to Sunday. Yeah. So on that note, you know, we're asking if the two two I ones drew each other they did not John Dunn has drawn so they would get paired against each other there would only be one of them remaining yeah. making it making it 33 301s instead of 32 yeah. but still if any of them don't like like the two the two players that don't ID um, and win their game and become 4-0s they're in a much stronger position to make it to Sunday yeah we got a lot of players thinking through to Saturday, but not thinking to Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I think and, so as well. And Smiley, the other 201, has paired with Ben Smith. Uh, and John Dunn paired with Richard College. So there's a <laughs> Team UK kill there. <laughs> are, we, are we having an, uh, an exact? A pay, it's pay, These pay are payload, updated. Payload battle lines. Yes. And the, the payload is on uh, the same point yeah. here. So far, yep. yes. And then it's on the same point on this side, I presume? No, it's not on the log. It, okay. it was on this tree on our left here. Right, um, right. Um, let me swap yeah. to see what we're seeing with Zane. Is Ben Smith um, looking for this other payload objective? Zane, Where is Ben Smith the go. Ben I think it is from San yes. Antonio? Lieutenant Colonel Ben Smith. Uh, he was the one who was up at the table. Yes. Helping, yes yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, he, I've got a soft spot for him, to, so I wish him well. Where he, is that other payload at? He uh, he has his wife watching, so I'm wondering if it's like a sports thing. He plays better when his wife watching. <laughs> well, and this was a case. So, like, my delay in getting over here was us trying to figure out who we were going to put on, yeah. right? Because we, we had who we wanted to put we on. We had a dream. Yeah, we had a dream. But the dream was crushed. They drew, <laughs> so, we're not, yeah. so we weren't going to put them on. Then it was like, then I realized I'm not going to sit here and go through every 3-0 and pairing to hear them all draw yeah. until we find someone who's playing against each other. Yep. And I was like, we're just going to get someone on. Yeah, so yeah. we had someone picked out um, until I we found that Austin here had a pair up. And Austin has been fighting for his life since his first loss, which I don't think, 
I don't know what the odds are. I'm not a math person. It's if he lost. So so just think of it this way: if he lost his first round, all of his opponents have, on average, one more loss than the players that won out. Okay. Right. So if your SOS is based on your opponent's win records, right, his opponents are already off to a worse start on average. Bar Dennis. Who is on three and zero? Dennis, who is three and zero, who is ranked the who highest. Was his first game. His first. Well, and Dennis, I think is is uh, top paired right now. Oh, Dennis was Austin's player. Yeah, yeah. Dennis was his loss. That was his so loss. That, so that's a big help for him. Yeah. But what about the other two? You know, that's right. The, yeah. Right. Right. Well, I know because your first one is guaranteed to not be as not guaranteed, but you don't expect your first one to be bad. You expect every subsequent opponent to have a worse because right. they're in that bracket with you. They're right. in the one loss bracket. Right. So in the chat some things here. So Austin's mum says, how on earth did he end up being paired with a 3-0? Uh, so that's Holly says, this is so very different when I coached volleyball. <laughs> Honestly, 100% honest, he shouldn't have been paired with a 3-0 because there exists 3-0, uh, 201s. Apparently someone should get you on a soapbox to explain this all to everyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gladly. So get Alec, up on Kevin my soapbox. Kev Alexander thinks yes. Looks like we so have a draw already. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. I mean, not not in our, not in our game. One. These guys are playing. Did they're they're going to play. Yes, OD. OD ID. OD. Who's OD? Ollie Dyer. Ollie Dyer. Ollie Dyer. <laughs> OD. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else is that? Uh, four. Yeah, four. So, Richard, four games is rough, but again, I, everyone signed up for four. That's what happens. It is what it is. Uh, Austin gets his dream to, cru uh, dream to crush right here, potentially. Uh, he is on a. He needs to, he's on a. He's not guaranteed winning in. He's a win and possibly. In. Yeah, and as I as I talked to Austin, he said he has been all gas, no breaks yep. since his loss. He is going full full tilt into every game, killing as much as he can and scoring as much as he can. <laughs> so that was the enthusiasm I was wanting for for this final game. In a fourth fourth round game, everybody's going to be tired. Um, it's it's not you yeah. know not high energy right here, but Austin is. Austin's definitely bringing a level of high energy. I want to play. I want to do this. I came here to play this. Let's do it. Right. So. Yeah. Jay, uh, to answer your question, J.G. Poteet. Hello. Uh, J. Oh. He, um, yeah, there, there are, there's a 2 0 playing a 3 yeah, uh, playing 3 0, apparently. Um, we'll just see. Can't answer for that. Can't answer that. AMG it's, doesn't have their own tournament software. They're yep. relying on a third party. They're relying on it. Yep. Uh, things can happen. No matter who designs it. it, it'll it'll work out eventually. Um, Austin has a chance to redeem versus Wookies from Richard Lavery, and uh, and his mum says his dad plays Wookies against him. <laughs> Austin is, uh, yep, yeah, he's there in his Crocs, the Florida man in his shorts. We haven't spoken much. I know we said about um, Peter Lyons' shirt with the, with the koalas and the lightsabers, but isn't it really cool seeing loads of people with their team shirts on? Some of the yeah. designs yeah. on there, like the Polish guys have got their stuff. It looks yeah. like they're all playing for the Polish national football team. Uh, <laughs> and the Germans have got theirs on. The Florida guys have got theirs. The 52 A's. It's really, really cool seeing like, community stuff. It's really good fun. And then, then there's us in our formal wear, plus your leggings. <laughs> Let's see where this bottom deployment zone is. Might be it.
Man, this what last is? round was just, it was so tiring just being up there towards the front of everything. Just <laughs> absolutely bonkers. Austin Miller is playing Separatists. Yes. He is playing double B2. Oh, beautiful, beautiful man. We, If you guys have been following us with stream, <laughs> we've had some serious yeah. debates about the players' EXD. EXD choices. Yeah. Um, yep. Specifically, why in the world they take Magna Guard. Austin Miller did not. Austin uh, says, I see smart that. man. I he see sees that. the B2s. He brought Viper Recon Droids on them, um, interestingly, for whatever reason. Um, but he's got two of those. He's got a B1 with a rocket and a worker. He has a B, another B1 with just a worker. He has Kalani, um, aggressive tax common relay. He has a generic T-series with improv, and he has triple BX, O-push, sniper, shields, and two impact grenades, trying to hedge that armor counter. And then, let me pull up our other list here. And, and the name of his list is great. Was the waffle worth it? <laughs> Was it indeed? We'll find out. The weekend is not over. Oh, let the Wookiee win. Oh, let the Wookiee <laughs> win. Oh, man. Oh, this is a fur. For. This is fur. Oh, with this flutter a craft. Lot of fur. Oh, okay. And activation Wookiee up uh, because they got triple flutter. Yeah. Wow, these are very naked Wookiees. They, yes. Um, these are all defenders, which means the double black in melee and they have charge. They are slightly cheaper. I see Chewbacca. I see two Wookiees with Bowcaster. The yep. next four have recon intel only. Yeah. So no tenacity, no shield, no O push. Um, I mean, to get to 10 axe. Full flying fur. And yeah. Then, and then three fluttercrafts, each with the gunner. We've been joined by an, an Ollie Dyer. He's still here. He's here, but we can't get a headset for him. Mr. So Ollie I'll, I'll jump out. He'll jump in. We'll switch through. He has a vested interest in seeing his, his bro going through. <laughs> He's, I'm only here for the Austin. Here for the Austin. <laughs> That's a lot of wins to chew through, though. Uh, that is. I, is I've, I've played. What does that come out to? Six that, times yeah. nine. 54 just from the core. 63 with Chewy plus the flutters. That's not as many as some have gone up to, though. Cause, right. Because some of them will do six Wookiees and a commander, but they're four-man Wookiees each. Yeah. Oh, wait. I missed the, the double bowcasters. Eight, uh, six more wounds. All right. Yeah. It, isn't it funny? Every single game played today, deployment has been on that far side, right? Nobody has deployed on the other side of this at all. They've all been on the far side. Well, that's the center, right? Well, it's, it's center, but like, well, if you're looking at it I mean, center yeah. right versus center left, nobody has gone center left. They've all gone center right. As far as the player at Depo the top of the table? Deployment, or? both of them. Yeah. Well, player at the bottom of the table, most, most of your deployments are gonna be from what we're looking at, bottom right to top left. Yes. Um, think of your major defensive and your advanced positions. Those are the general vectors. Um, and that bottom right for blue player right now is extremely favorable, overlooking the middle, generally speaking. Yeah. Um, and having cover always and having LOS blocking as the stairs get high enough. Um, red player to respond to that, I think, is what draws them to what this top right is that we keep seeing. Yeah. Speculation from the chat is that it's too open left side from uh, Dan Thompson. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because yeah. it it's much farther for them to get to their, um, to get to their equivalent staircase here. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I could draw a little bit, like, see how this trackpad treats me. Um, like, they have to go all the way to here before they get to their staircase, rather than, like, you know, this two inches to get to theirs. So. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, wow, that big, long blue line. I thought that was me that drew that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Kevin Alexander, obviously, if you heard our interview with Will Schick yesterday about rebalancing and potential updates and things, I would not expect it anytime soon. Yeah. Um, he, it, to sum up what he was saying, he's, he is hesitant to aggressively, and he did use the word aggress aggressively, add errata to games to, uh, because they plan so far in advance with new units that they don't know the impact that they will have on things. So justly <laughs> so, like, yeah, all right. right. Just, just as I said something about playing on the left, hey, Flutter, hey, Fluttercraft hey. coming in over there. Fluttercraft for the flank, though. True. Yeah. True. So they'll immediately Flank come back to the right. Flankercraft. Flankercraft. Flanker um, I did not know how large the massive those bases. Are on. I didn't either until I saw him put those is down. That, that's I was a like, T forty seven base. Geez. That's uh, is that not, that's not an ATST base, is it? As well. Yeah, the same T forty seven ATST. Yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, so Kev, don't expect Kev, Kevin. Uh, don't expect anything soon. Yeah. Um, it was a very interesting. I, I think you would probably look in maybe next year is probably a next time chance for an update. We'll see what the impacts of bad batch short, uh, uh, the range troopers and the the issue else. that he kind of touched on in the interview about those updates is that they also have units that are two years in the pipeline yep. that we don't know about and they do yep. that they could be accounting for, but they don't. We're not outputting a ton of data that's actually usable and I honestly I don't think people are even like emailing them very much we're just saying it in our social circles right and so we feel like we're being loud but we need to you need to email AMG about honest feedback if you have it yep and that doesn't mean flood their inbox but <laughs> no, well, yeah. I don't think they would hate it yeah that's fair I, I think we those got, email inboxes, cards going down we do I think those inboxes are more quiet. What do we, well, what do we have? What was that? Deal. I see a orbital strike for sure, and I, I see you. a not orbital strike because they're Wookies. Yeah, orbital strike and assault. Uh, so he's going to issue to the three Wookiee, or probably issue to the three Flutters. Uh, important to get that command or that control on them early to control the engagement because um, one of the toughest things with flanking units like that, bikes, Flutters um, alike, is timing their engagement. If you time it too soon, um, as in before the rest of your army hits, then your opponent gets to focus them down yep. without being punished. If you bring them in too late, then the rest of your army hits without having any backup really, and and you're just hitting them. You, what you want you want to swarm them and overload them with target priorities. Yeah. And hit them with everything at once, like a big old crushing wave. It, you do an, you either do uh, not really an alpha strike with the bike, but you either do like a beta strike. So you you, you wait and it comes in afterwards after you engage. Yes. So it comes in and goes bang. The second Doing thing. it together is the biggest part. Yeah. Like the it, it's easy like the, you can easily pick off. Sorry, there we go. It's easy to pick off something <laughs> when it comes straight to you. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's you want to deny as many attacks as you can early. Grant, these are Wookiees that are charging. They have no way to attack these up here except with their pistols. In a so one of the things to avoid is that, that exposing your your fast units. Uh, I used to love playing T-47s. Uh, yes, awesome. And, and yeah, go ahead. you stick it on the sideways, angle it. If you're playing battle lines, for example, don't angle it forward, angle it sideways and just spin around. And then you'd, you're not going to engage too soon. You're not going to get expose it and you can run them two together like a pair and then flank round and run it at the side. It causes problems. It was fun to do. Uh, and it's, it, the, the high speed armor ones like the T-47, maybe the lats are good for T turn three, four, five. Because you've had other units that are whittles down, if that makes sense. Oh, we got our first. Uh, we got our uh, orbital strike going on. Yep. Yep. Also, thank you to everyone who uh, hung in there during the uh, 
the lull in activity yep. trying to get things going. We appreciate that. We apologize. We were all down there trying to figure things out, find players, talk to them, figure out who was doing what. Um, so we apologize for for uh, leaving you guys hanging there. I, but, kept, uh, I kept them company a little bit. Just let, I was letting them know what was going on. Just tell them stories. But tell them stories. I didn't really. I didn't get a chance. I thought, <laughs> oh, maybe tell them, tell them a few jokes. That nice. Was, Four white blanks. Uh, I mean, as you'd expect. Yeah, B1s, but right? Did it land? No, because I was orbital strike. So I was onto the Wookiees oh, or the, the Wookiee Mini. And a bit. Definitely if it went to Wookiees or did it yeah, put wounds yep. on a flutter. It was, up, it was up there. Okay. It went to the Wookiees. So it removed a Wookiee model right off the bat. And that yeah. means. From a Bowcaster squad? Yeah, but, uh, yeah and that yeah, means a like Wookiee. They're the only four man. Uh, a squads. Wookiee will be moving up then. Look at all that fuzz. So this is uh, this is something I played. Uh, Richard Lavery, our, our good buddy, who's been in chat here. Uh, he he played this, but without flutters, and that I had to eat for the whole game. And so this that, is going to be in Austin's face pretty quick. I think that was the free speed one after losing after a model. losing a model. Yep. Um, and then activating immediately to run away, trying to stay safe. Yep. Oh, the two reds were indomitable rally roll. That's what it was. Okay. Yep. Yep. Which wasn't this battle force one of the lower? Because oh. defenders was one of the lower. Lower brought ones. Brought. Yeah. Let us see. Because we have two two. Because uh, Austin's running EXDs, right? So. Thank you, John B. Thank you. No, you, you, thanks for your support, there, man. He's just moving up around this back end here. So that chart we got on the top right uh, showing counts of battle forces that's going on. Um, and most we have is EXD at 22, then Shadow Collective, which is more of a faction than battle force yeah. at this point. Tempest at 15. Wookiee def okay. Wookie Defenders are so the fourth of, yeah, most so taken it. battle force yeah, right at 13. In the middle there, yeah. So Dave Nolan's definitely one of the uh, from Ireland. He's the he's, the, he's one of, he's a Wookiee Battle Force player as well. Ah, okay. Uh, he's I think he's on a 0 and 3 though with these Wookies, mm. which is rough. Next we got Remnant at nine, Echo Base Defenders at eight, which is which is more uh, the same amount of as Blizzard put, Force. Which is wild when you think where Blizzard yeah. was at just a year and a half ago. Yep. Like I don't think it's for lack of being good. No. I think they're, the players are now going into Remnant and um, and other things. Yep. That's all. This looks like Austin is moving some B2s here. Some B2s. Those B2s can put a good dent in, in Wookiees who are relying. This Wookiee list is solely relying on cover. No armor. Um, even though the the models have battle shields on them, these are naked Wookies. Mostly naked Wookies. Ah, uh, ATSD Tempest versus Infantry Tempest. Dude, that's a great question. That's a lot harder for me to calculate on the fly. Uh, maybe next year. <laughs> I, I got a lot of stuff calculated, but man. Nailing down archetypes like that is a is another ball game. So Austin double moving his B2s, it looks like. Back there with his T series. Trying to balance them. Yeah. I don't know what the issue with 
Well, I don't, th I don't think there's so. enough uh, room. I think he wants to have them out to be able to fire without recohering next time, but still benefiting from the cover because there's not enough room to stack them but, back there with that T-Series there. I mean, sure. I don't think cover is something to worry about against Wookiees. Like, yeah, true. Well, because especially these are battle, I mean, well, because they're, 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 naked. Have they're naked. They're naked. Yeah, they so those are just models, models but there's not actually there. Right. So these are just naked Wookiees. So they got then. pistols. They got range oh, right. two pistols. Which we shoot a black and a white? A black and a white each. Yeah. Which means their threat range is only range three. And okay. that looks like maybe just about just, range yeah, three. Yeah, just it, there or shy. Yeah. Both players playing exceptionally fast here with their actions. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's back just boom, boom, boom. Very definitive. Yep. I told you, Austin's playing all gas, no brakes. <laughs> Our uh, inside man, Mr. Dyer. Yes. Probably there have been 13 draws. 13 draws. Thirteen. Wow. 13 players or 13 draws. 13, 13 players. players. So that's seven, seven and a half draws, eh? What? No, I mean that's counting <laughs> previous draws then. Yeah. Obviously. Oh. Oh, okay, then it might make sense. But there we go, yeah, so that's what's happened. no way you get 13 draws in one say. round. <laughs> okay, exactly. 13 players drawing in one round. Yeah. Draw and not draw at the same time. Andy Platt, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, 100. Way to stick with it. Appreciate you. That's uh, Andy in the UK. He's in, in the Navy. <laughs> uh, he is a Navy man. There it is, 13 301s. We have also had, just looking up, we had 17 dropped. Over the course of the day, yes. Yeah, over the day, not just like in one. <laughs> in one no, hit, that'd be horrible. No. Um, so yeah, 17 drops. Uh, the drops have been... Those are all 03, 02s, 01s. Those yes. are all zero win o players. O yeah, 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 03. Looking now. Uh, 03, 02, 03. Canadian Bear, that is very or a point that we brought up earlier. There are two zero ones that can very much make it into becoming a three zero one. Um, Someone on one and zero dropped. Sam Collins, who came through on the uh, LTQ, dropped after one and zero. Okay. Uh, Benji Huff dropped after one and two. Measuring those range five four die sniper shots. But it's payload, so Austin can't run away with all of them. I mean, or not Austin, I'm um, sorry, our Wookiee player can't run away with all of them because he, he has to push his payload forward. Do we know how, how to say our, our friend's name? Is it Mikal? Is it. I think, uh, I think it's Michael with Michael? Michael. Okay. I think it's Michael um, until I, I, I'm, I'm going to go check just to have respect. Uh, but I think it's Michael. Okay. Uh, I will check out of respect. Kevin, we're not exactly sure how they're going to handle the Sunday. If there are, yeah, yeah, we're not sure. We're going to have to play that by ear. What's he checking on? Yeah, uh, pronunciation of Michael oh. Mikal's name. Mikal's name, okay. Yeah. And then see if we can interpret it from his British accent. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Effective wounds, man, don't do this to me. <laughs> uh, you have four... Uh, three man, three wound Wookiees, and then you have two three man, and two four man, three wound Wookiees. So plus Chewy is 69 normal wounds. Uh, you divide by five six for that.
So, um, wait, no, I just wanted to check uh, for pronunciations because I want to get it right. Uh, you, we can call him Mrochny because it's a nickname, like mine, Cockles. Oh. Not, obviously not the same thing. Or you can call him Michal. So, Michal. Yeah, Mif, 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 Michal. Michal. Yeah. Michal. It's like Mick How, but like... Okay, close. Michal. Uh, but you can just call him Mrochny as well. Uh, Mrochny? Mrochny. Mrochny, yeah, okay. So it's, it's his nickname. Like, so Mrochny. Like, hey, I think you like that we asked. <laughs> so it's good to cool. Yes, so um, I'm counting 82.8 effective wounds from Wookiees alone, not the Fluttercraft. Um, that's 82.8. Oh that's 82.8 hits on average oh. in the open to kill the Wookiees Jeez. with zero cover. <sighs> cover adds to that, obviously. Uh, Conga line of B ones here. Yeah, that's from the 69 raw wo or wounds, the health that they have. We got some shots coming up. I'll throw his cam back. And... EXD has a good gun line, so I mean, we're going to see. We got four cover and dodge. Should leave one. Yep. Uh, thank you, Netcop. It's Morochny. Uh, he has a YouTube channel. If anyone's interested. Oh, that's awesome. Mirochny 1313. I don't know what that is. 1313. 1313 was, uh, was a code name for one of the uh, Star Wars video games that was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be based in. Yeah, it was supposed to be based in a district on Coruscant called 1313. Yeah. And you're supposed to kind of be like in the underworld. It was working meant your way to be up. a hot game as well. Yes, and it went. Got the X. Yep. Just like the last like three or four titles. <laughs> Let's check in uh, Chewy range there. Just, uh, just taking some dodges with. Uh, yeah, he, he has Chewy. Yeah. Chewy's kind of a ways off from everybody, so. Chewy's lone guarding that um, object or the payload. Make sure it gets through. I don't think Austin can jump it, not yet. Yeah. So. Checking some silhouette here from Austin can see through the. Uh... Lots of X when Judge calls in. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Judge! Sub level 1313 also appeared in Clone Wars as well as the Bad Batch. Yep. Yep. And yeah, Richard, uh, Richard Lavery, as long as he can stay at range two for as long as possible, uh, he's a big spot. Yeah. Range two is the pain spot. It Unfortunately, is. Yeah. the more you attack Wookiees, the farther they could run up on you. Yep. yep. You really have to make sure you concentrate fire, and then the Wookiee player's job is to make sure you can't concentrate fire. Yep. Trying to spread out the wounds that way things are moving get as many, equally. Yeah, get as many free moves as you can. Yeah. Rather than one unit just getting pelted coming in and then having one or two guys left yeah. by the time they get there, spread it out really well. You say that's real fur on him? Can we zoom in on Chewie? Yeah. No way. Is that no? I mean, that's what that cop's saying. No. Oh my gosh, are you serious with this? What was that? Is that? Oh my gosh, that is real fur on Chewie. No. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah it looks like it. What in the world? Beautifully groomed Chewie. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite figure now. <laughs> and that looks and straight like a kit bashed OP yeah. model, like yeah. fur added. That's yeah. your favorite over Crocodile Dun Dunbosk. I mean, that was just a head swap. Crocodile Bosky. Yeah. No, but that effort. Love it. I mean, and it's like the correct colors, too. Like, that's yeah. the thing about it. Is that it is like, on point. it totally fits. Many, <laughs> many beards were shaved to make this work. <laughs> <laughs> that is impeccable, you guys. Right there. That is absolutely impeccable. His poor cat. <laughs> 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 Bravo. <laughs> 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 
good one, Josh. <laughs> 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 well, I'm <laughs> Just imagine this. Cardiac <laughs> arrest here. Like, just no, I just imagine this cat. Geez. I just imagine this cat in poor Miguel's um, apartment, and he's got like a bald spot. <laughs> <Shaved him. laughs> it's like his head shaved. You know the reason he's got fur with his head shaved. Partner at home. He's just like, what are you doing with that again? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Leave mittens alone. <laughs> new Wookiee list came out. Don't worry. <laughs> There's new models. I got to go. Does that mean he's going to do that with all of them? Well, uh, not, as of right That's now, no. Be a, has to now. Quite the effort. Yeah, I think you need about four cats for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, love that! Absolutely love that. When it, oh, do you think, depending on what fur it actually is, do you think you'll have to replace it over time? Or like when oh, you get, like or, or, might, like, oh, or like when you have, or like when you get a fake like uh, the yeah, hair transplant, you have to yeah, like yeah. replace it. Oh, and it right, right, right. I. Had, yeah, I mean, probably use fake fur just for that reason. And obviously, humane reasons. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at where Austin is going with these BXs. Whoa, look catch at us up here, he says. <laughs> yeah, look like toppers on a cake. He's got, blue, he's got a blue tack on there. <laughs> I mean, do they not look like toppers on a cake? They like, do. They absolutely, absolutely do. Yeah. But about your BX candles? Those are barely staying on there. Yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, they are precariously. Now, Wookiees can, with scale, they can climb up, but they won't but be they able can't to get base up there. because they won't. They can't stay. Because they can't stay. Yeah. Wow. Actually, that's such a yeah. solid move from Austin. He's crowded out. I mean, this is not Austin's first rodeo. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Love that. Yeah, it's 100% relying oh, there on the go. texture. Yep. Canadian See, here's card. the thing. Any 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 table bump, those things are going to keep sliding off like that. So Yeah, at what point do you say it's not okay? Right. I mean, I guess. Yeah, see, there he goes. And he, he just. That's got to be frustrating. Yep. Yeah. I will still say scale doesn't do anything, Richard. I'll keep saying it. I uh, I played a game at a, a Euros event against an opponent. Uh, I should have I should have called him up on it. He basically took his chewing gum out of his mouth and put it on the bottom of the mini's base and stuck oh, it to a piece of Oh, that's not okay. Uh, no. I should have called him out on it. I didn't because I'm a nice person. But then afterwards, I was like, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. And he did that with Boba Fett to get uh, to get oh. to places. And we've been told too that you're not supposed to be removing your models from the bases like these flutters. Um, Oh, yeah, because you're just playing with the... Uh, I mean, not I mean, yeah, it's not just about the aesthetic, but um, if a model can't fit can't because... Fit. yeah. Or like if, if a unit can't fit because of the model, then it can't go there. Right. Which, I mean, luckily right now he's in the open. Yeah. But the moment he starts trying to fly underneath there, then it I, would... I get logistically why he does it. Yes, yeah. It's easier to move around, but, right. like, that, I mean, that's part of the game. Right. But I would, I mean, you know, from Austin's standpoint, once, once he starts getting in closer... You yeah, know, he won't. It won't be able to fly under the bridge as right. well, or around at all. the terrain. Yeah, yeah. It will just have to kind of stay in that open middle area, just circling. Uh, Daniel Thompson, that would be jump if it was climb with no speed reduction. So they can't quite do that either. It would be better jump because you'd be able to do it multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Austin's mom here. That must be one nice kitty to tolerate a shave. <laughs> <laughs> you're not. You're not wrong, Mrs. Miller. You're not wrong. Did we, is this a gunner shot? I think so. I think he's trying to figure out where he can put this uh, flight stand based off of where he wants to go. So it's done. It's speeder move, and now it's going to try and move pivot. It's got. It's the rear gun that it's got to throw out yep. there. So. Yep. Which is such a wild way to play, right? Like, Yeah, it, it's a thing. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, probably just player skill issue on my end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is for me. I'll say it right yeah. up front. Richard, I agree. Scale need to stay exactly how it was. It would have been fine. 
the gap between <laughs> scale units and non-scale units would still close because everyone can climb easier. Um, but scale units didn't need the nerf that they most assuredly got. That chewy ain't curly at all. That is groomed fur. Yeah. Like. Yeah. He takes care of himself. Hundred brushes every night. <laughs> is that sorry? Is that Austin's hair, or are we talking the wookie? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> compliments either way. So. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Hundred percent agree. Absolutely. Two things can be true. <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to give a little shout out to? Let's hear it. Tom has been watching all day. He has. He is on from game one. It is now game four. Yes. And it is now one o'clock-ish in the morning. You think he's at his computer still? I'd, I'd be surprised if he's not. Oh. His, uh, his wife is currently expecting, so congratulations to him. Oh, oh very, yeah, uh, very much due so. Due middle of the year. Uh, sorry, no, due sometime September or August. So he's worried he'll miss out on one of the majors in the UK because that's in... August, so ah. he's like, oh, baby Jew and Ark event. So we'll see. Um, but no, so he's expecting to congratulations to him. This is first. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it means that Ollie will end up being the uh, not only non-parent on our thing. <laughs> so in effect, he's our child. There you go. Um, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so, yeah, so he's, well, he's, he's been all day. Huge thanks to Tom because he's also helped us with some things out yes. throughout the day as well. So, um, so with a lot of things. Yeah, he's been basically background back tech in terms of uh, some of the video content that's going to come out. Um, well, eventually. Eventually, it's going to come out soon. Uh, you'll, Should you'll, hopefully be tomorrow. I think yeah. yeah. Tomorrow you'll see some really cool stuff with interviews from Austin, for example, uh, Polish guy uh, Dominic. Loads of people. I'm just I'm naming two that stuck in my head. Um, so yeah, you'll see loads of stuff uh, that has been uh, collated from uh, John and myself with Tom editing in the background. So shout out to Tom. Yes, yes huge shout out to Tom. <sighs> Great support, even we, though he couldn't be here. We yeah. will try and get you out next year, assuming we're here uh, and David's happy with us. Happy inviting us back, maybe, hopefully, please, David. But yeah. <laughs> with any luck, I'll be playing next year. See if I can find a list that I like. I mean, let's be fair. If I was not given the option to play, I'd play. But I am loving this. Um, yes. It's been great fun. Yes. Yeah, I, uh, I love playing. It's fun. But I am not a good player by any means. Um, Me and Zane high five that one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, I, I have only ever gone positive at one tournament. And that was PAX, not last year, year before. Yep. And I went three and two. And that was very surprising for me. Um, Very nice. Otherwise, I'm a I'm a one and two most of the time. I, d I go positive more often than I don't, but it's the 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 the, uh, the jibes I get from my co-hosts on my on the, on the, ah, on yeah, the uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your two co-hosts or or the two you're talking about are extremely competitive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the, so yeah. the jibes I get from them. Is, yeah. When did you make when did you make this? And it's like the, the, so I, I the best I've placed uh, was a five and one at a at a major in the north of England, and I ran Anakin Quad RPS and a couple of barks. Looks like uh, players are moving payloads right now, so it must be end of round one. Or turn one, I should say. My only loss that day, Ollie. Oh. oh. Yeah. So it's like, damn it. Well, uh, part of it for me is uh, I don't, like I travel all over the U.S., right? So I don't have a local place that I play in. Yep. Every week, you know, tournaments That's true. every week. You like, need to, like, I, thrive off of TTS. Right. Well, and, and I have a laptop that struggles to play, like, Age of Empires 2, you know? <laughs> so a, it's like... What a game. Yeah, oh, love it. Um, <laughs> but I still try. Um, so it's like, so I don't really get to play a lot of Legion because I'm constantly traveling, and my schedule every week is say, random. Work for you also would be... Yeah. Well, not a pain. Obviously, you love your work, but I mean, like... Right not conducive to a uh, right because because uh, as a being a travel nurse i fill in gaps yeah. at hospitals i don't pick my schedule so i yeah. fill in wherever um so my most of the time when i play it is when i go to a tournament and i'm like hey i built this i've never played it i want to play it and by turn three 
I figured out what it does, and then I'm one and two. And I'm like, all right, there we go. <laughs> I know, and, and like saying to when I, the thing I say without Ollie Nandy, so I don't, I don't get the games as well. Young family, work, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, it's and if there are, then I'm not the only one. There will be many others. So uh, John Dunn, Rich College, who are playing in, in England, same situation. So when we play games, we'll play play with lists that. We want to play because we've actually found the time to enjoy the game we want to play. Yeah, we could go and run your top tier Republic, your top tier whatever. But if we want to have fun at the same time, making a list with models that you've never played is up. Yeah. Here comes round, is we turn three? Yep. Or turn two. Turn, turn two. Turn two. Sorry, I saw the. Yep. the I already bumped it. Yep. Right, Austin's making some last minute measures here. Here we go. Command flop. It's, the Wookiee one pit and the Super Attack one pit. They too will suffer. How's that go? They too will suffer. Yeah. Oh, who rolled for that? Looked like Austin rolled. So. Yeah, because Austin was. Oh, he saw a Wookiee player going first. Yeah. Because he rolled a non block. Move this dice came back out of the way. So, refresher, if you don't know the Wookiee one pips, because I that's one that I'm actually more familiar with. Um, for a wounded model or model that has, or a unit that has lost models, it gives you um, a aim, dodge, and surge, I believe. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, issue with it being, oh wait, this is, oh, right there. Issue with it being is you can't get it to your commander because it's support or um, special forces only. So Chewie couldn't ever take it, You're, ah. but still great one pip. Also, Three must I good say, tokens. It got much warmer in here once I close those doors. Yes, it, it does. It's so much better now. Yeah, I'm, this I'm is like about ready to take off now, my jacket. This is nice. This is nice on my arms. The legs weren't caring all day. My <laughs> arms were horrible. <laughs> Graham, what are you doing? You're I'm supposed to be over there judging. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was like, I was like. <laughs> Was There's like a presence a behind me. That was that I moment in the film. You two were looking at me up. I was like, what's behind me? It's behind me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking really heavily over you. <laughs> it's the bit in Alien. It's, it's behind me. Yeah, it? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me with a little face. I got my little mouth. Graham is our uh, wonderful stream judge uh, for this round. So he is coming over and taking a look at what we got going on here with our setup. So. Where's Graham from? Graham, where are you from? Chicago. He hasn't traveled far. He's from too. here. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a phrase. Yeah. It's yeah, neck of my woods. Neck of the woods. Neck of my woods. <laughs> yeah, why not? There yeah. are your woods. Yeah, they are yours. They're so, your woods. Yeah. Neck of these streets, all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Is this game that dry that you guys got to talk to me? No. <laughs> just, no, dude. Well, no, everyone, we, we've, we've spoken about we're Cammy. Good. You are now here. That's so. It. I love it. Yeah. Here in, in your hometown. <laughs> Are B2s going in for a shot? I think so. Super exciting. Love seeing all the international players. Love seeing all the fresh list ideas that are outside of our local metas. Yeah. Uh, and it's just great to see everyone's great attitude. They're just excited to be here. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Well, thank you for judging. You're fantastic. Thank you, Judge. Thank you very much. High five. <laughs> Screwed up Boom. Yeah. Right <laughs> Blind high five. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we got some uh, B2s. I believe, I, I didn't see the measurement for long enough, but I believe the B2s moved to exactly range three ah. with, the, with the plan. Oh, he's oh. standby. Oh, okay. I was thinking his plan was take the B2 shot um, and likely remove a model, but prevent them from a speed one and double speed twoing into him. Right, right. Um, I like that standby move. But standby against Wookiee Army yeah. is phenomenal. I like it. Chewie's yeah. too far away to pop it off. The flutters are too far away. Everything has to come into range two to do anything. So standby the, is irrelevant. The only thing I think is maybe, are they at range three? There's no, there's, no, that's it. I don't know. I know they're beyond two. But the only thing yeah. I can think of is if you've got that bowcaster split round shot. That's all I can think of. Yeah, uh, he might have measured that. Don't know. We'll find uh, we'll out. see. That looks like it might be beyond range four for the move shot. Apparently, you can take C's on Chewy, and the effect of that card applies. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, I mean, so the stipulate you can't take C's on anyone else and have that work because the stipulation is that a Wookiee commander 
is issuing the order. And if you have C's, then you're a Wookiee commander and issuing the order. So, yes. Uh, you could do some tricks when you get the supply drops and you get the hollow projector. Uh, TJ hurt? Doom, uh, we haven't covered it much, but yeah, the, the uh, shout out and the terrain team, that's supplied locally and the community. So yep. shout out to the community. Yeah, several several people came together to uh, to, to make this yep. uh, make put together tables to support 272. Well, 280 was the plan in it. Yes, right, so yeah. right. So they essentially had tables for 280. Yep. Yeah. Um, awesome. So that's 140 tables worth. That's wild. That's uh, that's a lot of plastic. Yeah. That's a lot of paint. Yeah. And we will be uh, we will be switching the table tomorrow. Yes, we will have well, a brand new table a new on tomorrow. Table tomorrow. Yep. I believe that's been. Have you selected that already? I think I saw something. Not yet. Um, I do have something in mind for sure. What um, are you thinking? Well, so we've had some. Like yesterday was brown. You know, there's brown here with the green really offset. Do you think in white? So I'd like to. I think like ice or like an industrial red. magma. Yeah. You know, like something industrial like industrial magma. Yeah. Because there's some some out there that are like industrial buildings with like on like a kind of a magma. Uh, okay. Mat. Yeah, yeah, with so like Mustafa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With you. So. Um. So that. Any. Yeah. So. yeah any. Actually, chat. Uh, what. What table. Theme. Are you are you hankering for it tomorrow? Because yeah, I can we we have we have a lot to choose from. Yeah, you guys choose the theme, and we'll we'll kind of see what you guys are looking for, and I'll, I'll we'll go find the best table out of uh, what what we have. What do we got here? Two shot. red, two black. That's not a flutter shot. What is that? Two red, two black. Two red, two black. Is it a? Chewy Chewy Bowcast. No, he's B one B one two white. Was it what is a B one uh, uh, trooper with um, a rocket? Rocket. Uh, rocket is right by four dice. Yeah. Well, there were no defense roll. Huh. Someone asking for Camino. <laughs> Camino. I don't think there's a Camino out there. Someone in Germany. I went to Bremen a couple years ago. Someone in Bremen made a table, a Camino table, with different platforms. Oh. But it was impossible to play on. Because uh, you were very funneled in every way. Well, yeah. Went, right? you have the platform. Yeah. Get the funnel, platform yeah. funnel. Yeah. Uh, in fact, Lucas, Technophobia, and Johannes were drawn on that for their effectively semi final. Right. And they both looked at it and went, no, we're, <laughs> we're moving tables. And Finn went, yes, that's fair, you can go on the table. <laughs> Finn, in his very Finn way. Um, it, it was beautiful to, as a hobby, but it not possible play. Two red, two black is the NASP gun. No. Oh, okay, so there as well, okay. Yeah. Impact one, Pierce. Yep. Pierce one. I thought we had seen that dive pool already. So he must have lost the uh, the two hits from cover, and then the crit just went through, so he just picked up a model. A shield. No. Oh, because oh, he BX's. went at BX's. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we didn't see defense dice. Yep, yep, yep. So two black, two red is a bowcaster as well. Apparently on no. So no bowcaster I know. Lucas Mayu. Oh, maybe two white, two red. Is, hmm, two is white, overrun. two red is overrun. Two black, two red is bowcaster. Maybe Chewie's specifically Chewie's It is bowcaster. not. Chewie's not. is two red, two white, I promise you. The Ooh. NASP gunner is two red, two black. Yeah, there you go. Not, uh, yeah, yeah. but both Chewie's. Surfside Hobbies, two red, the two flutter craft teetering on the stairs is by. Look at the uh, BX's oh, here yeah. teetering on the top of the uh, mushroom uh, tree. Yeah. That, that should also give you some, some anxiety there. Some very preca precariously balanced units in this final game. Uh, two shouts for a crash. Sorry, a shout for a crash capital ship tomorrow. Two shouts for Felucia. Uh, someone shout for Tatooine. Hold on, hold on. What was that last one? Felucia. You haven't watched the cartoons, have F you? Felucia. There it there is. There it is. Okay, All right, okay. there we go. Okay. I didn't know they had a British translation for Clone Wars, too. <laughs> you're, again, I'm just saying, you're speaking our language. It's called English for a reason. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, if it wasn't for us, you'd be speaking so French. So, B1, <laughs> oh. B1's just got oh. shot. Taking two off. So that rocket squad down a four with a repair droid. Uh, yeah, I'll move this dice tray for you. Naboo. A Naboo shout. Now, some of the, I've seen some Naboo tables. There is a feed. There is a feed table yeah, out there. Yeah, there there's a couple of nice stuff out there. Yeah. The feed table is pretty. We could actually, that actually might. Yeah. 
the only issue with that one is I think you'll, you'll find that'll be plenty of line of sight blockers for our cameras. I think that comes along that, yeah, that side. Echo base. There is a really cool echo base with an ion cannon out there. Looks cool. May not play cool. Is that Mike Michel uh, measuring B1s to Wookiees under the into the archway? I think so, yeah, because he's got it going directly. Let's see if I can yeah. look on this side. It's a rocket. Rocket man. <laughs> rocket man. Oh, those, those PXs up the top. Just, just, oh. Oh, that was a countermeasure to the B1s to get range two pistol shot. I believe. It might be an out of cover shot, too. Yeah. Which looked like there's only four B1s left. So that'll be a nice wipe if his six dice produce. Dice coming in here. They did not. Uh, two. Yeah. yeah, two. Yeah. So that's what my Wookiee pistols roll, Richard. So <laughs> I'm just going to keep running in. It's rolling three. Don't follow that logic. It didn't block any. There's no impervious, no danger Ooh, sense. No. The Lothal table, I know the exact Lothal table you guys are talking about. I will definitely take a look at that one as well. It is a very cool piece. Well, Austin just said two crits. I'm not sure. I only saw two hits there, so. Where's the dice cam gone? I've been, I've been taking the dice cam off when it's not needed, just because oh, we have so you, much you. going on constantly on yeah, all John's parts on the board. Of the, he's just yeah, I'm, I got my finger on transition button. I'm not going to miss a die roll. Don't you worry. Special forces. Dan Thompson, I think that would be a level of, um, of, of level of, in, of ingenuity that I think isn't going to happen in terms of terrain. So you're saying about magnets underneath bases and then people painting with magnetic paint type thing. See you tomorrow, buddy. That was Dustin. Measuring to the standby that he's got. He's trying to avoid the standby, get behind LOS, uh, figure out what all his goals are here. That standby, yeah, that standby has definitely given Michael Michael, Michael something to think, think about. Yeah. As it should, it'll shred the Wookiees. Yep. The B2 Ha is terrifying. This feels like the Battle of Kashyyyk. Yeah, it's pretty thematic for Battle of Kashyyyk. Droids attacking Wookiees on Wookiee territory. This is pretty close to Wookiee territory terrain. Well, some of you don't know as well. Uh, Mokrojny is also recording for his own personal benefit as well. Um, yeah. He's got his little, uh, some sort of steady cam at the back yep. with a microphone and uh, hooked up to himself. So, And using his phone to record. Yeah. So he's got battery packs, I'm sure, but like. Which also helps for his own timing, I imagine. He was able to then now look at times on his phone. 
ya. Dan Thompson, I'm not going to speculate on your age. <laughs> that is extremely close to range two, and this is a scenario where one model may be in range two, from our view it looks like it, yeah. while that one is out of LOS, a different model is in LOS, but that would, so that would check both requirements of being in LOS and range two. Could the leader see it though? Uh, well, it could proc the standby even if the leader doesn't see it. Yeah. They just wouldn't be able to shoot that unit. Yeah. You know. They can still move. Well, yeah. I don't think he has anything to do with the standby if this guy walks away. Yeah. And I'm sure Austin's bringing up that exact point, saying that he could see that model and wants to proc his standby. Yeah, so he's saying, I want the intention to be not there. Can we try and make that there, yeah? And intention's great, but it is not everything. Yep. If it can't be done, then it can't be done. Where's Graham? He may... Oh, he's there, he's there. He's there on the ball. He's watching. Yeah. So he saw it. He's moving. Spending the standby to just continue a flank. All right, guys, talking to uh, Dustin there. Nice. Um, he paired with Ollie, so... Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. What, did he give any indication of the other 5280s who were thinking about drawing? No. Uh -uh. No. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, we can actually. Well, I shall. Actually, we got a yeah. big die roll here. Uh, oh, wow. Six hits. What is this? Two, four. Does that four crits? Four? This is the B2s. I, didn't, I think we. Yeah, he's got, he's got it measured. Yeah, well, oh, that two, was from standby. It must have been. Because one definitely moved away, uh, but that's one Wookiee model dead. Um, interesting. 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 Confir confirm result, Nathan Gribble beats Logan Johnson. Oliver Legras beats Nicholas Berguero. Wookiee lost a model, so he's taking his speed so one. He's moving the speed one up. Coming back out. Now those standbys are gone. Wait, so did he just go through the tree and then come he, back out of the he tree? He went through the tree to avoid the standby, and ah. it procced. It, it looked, I guess there were two standbys. One On uh, went to B2? the bottom right, okay. and then the other one had a shot and took the shot. Ah, okay, okay. Dash Zyconia? I thought they were talking about a draw, so. Let's have a look. Uh, no, they 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 played, there because otherwise it'd be down as a draw right now. I'll just, yeah. So they're playing. No idea how it's going. Well, of course, Tealy uh, won his game. Is in three. He's three one right now. Oh, okay. Tyler Kahn's of uh, Indy Garrison. Same. Yeah. Dashes was one of the ones that was firmly in the camp of. You don't want to place your luck, or the fate of your Sunday in the draws that are going to lead to the top four of yep. Saturday. Yep. So he he was wanting to play out his final game because yep. of that. October, Dennis, he went for the draw. We just got a crit hit from a bowcaster, range three, into whites that pierced. It pierced before. He, he didn't need to roll that. That's fine. That's whatever. I've lost another model down there. Oh, that must have, that was yep. not a bowcaster shooting. That was someone shooting into the Wookiee. Yep. Corey from Inglorious Blast Blasters. Was E5S. He's now 3 and 1. So, does that unit not get to move again since it lost no. another? It's Once just a one time? Round. Ah, okay. Once per round. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's good because then you don't wind up just like. Right. It gives you an option. Like, you can't attack all the different ones because right. they all move. Right. So, you have the option of attacking one of them. Okay. It helps the Wookiee player by preserving that unit when it gets hit too much. Yeah. You know. Red, white. I'm not sure what the red, white was. Maybe it was Kalani. Yeah, because that Kalani up on no, the... Uh, Kalani's black, white, though. No. Not sure. Shadow Scout, Luke, he's been winning. So, rest assured, he's fine. What is it? Shadow Scout was asking... I've been absent, so I'm not sure they've mentioned this yet. But how's the form? How's the form? He's not form, he's still current. How's the champ doing? Uh, has he lost or has he been winning? He's been winning. Uh, he's been winning games. Yeah, yeah. Lucas three and zero. He's playing. Um, 
cannot remember who's playing right, but he's he is playing right now. I'll so find out. yeah, Surfside, enjoy that movie. Thank you for being on today. We appreciate you. We thank you for watching, um, and we will definitely see you tomorrow. Yeah. Luke Cook is playing Timothy Keel. Okay. Uh, table twenty-five. There. Um, as we haven't mentioned it already, uh, we said obviously it's a collaboration. If you don't follow Yavin Base on YouTube or Facebook, follow Yavin Base on Facebook and YouTube. Yes. If you don't know, that's No Moon as the podcast. Give us a, look, uh, a follow on at TNN Pod on YouTube uh, or Instagram or wherever you get your spot, wherever you get your podcasts. Um, so we're on there uh, on Spotify and that as well. So that's measuring good. to move into range three to get some shots over the stairs. Yep. I don't know that there's LOS over the stairs, so it's going back. That up is there. an angle we can't quite get though. So yeah, that's a weird angle. I think that's going to be a hard angle for Austin to get. Climb all the way down? Uh, scale two, I think. They, oh, they do. They do. That's right. It's BX. It's like crawling all over things, hands, yeah. and, hands and legs, yeah. Shadow Scout, thank you for watching as well. Bobby yeah. Joe's in the chat. Um, yeah, Bobby Evan, Joe! Evan's not doing great. Um, yeah. You can see it on Game Up Link. Uh, he was 03 going into round four. Yep. But Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe Thomas. Bobby Joe Thomas. Blood, Blood Ocean. Ocean. And Discord. Oh, Blood Ocean. Cool. Okay. Yeah. This is the thing. I was saying to people when I obviously arrived, it's like you say, hi, I'm Dave. And you go, oh, I'm this in Discord. Oh, cool. Hello. How you doing? One of those things. Yep. Colm Keeley. Yeah. These are some, some new times with these tournament regs. Yep. Oh, uh, an extra white die. What was the question? Oh, they need one extra white die. Oh. What, what's up there is up there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they need one more extra white die. We have, we have a limited amount of dice on the stream table here, so Austin was just needing extra dice, so. <laughs> oh, that's a roll. Oh, double crit. Four, oh, five, wow, look, six, at those, seven, look at those three. white dice coming in. Hot. Nice dice. Nice dice. <laughs> Coming in hot on those crits, man. Is this a, what is this? What is this? Oh, this is, that's gotta be BX. That's yeah, it's why. BX, is a sniper. Yeah, because he moved those guys from the top of the tree oh, to the, the bottom. Oh, and it was the black one. It's, I was confused why there was a black die. That's from the being EXD, spending a surge for the extra dice. Yeah. And that's, oh, a dead Wookiee. Yeah. Those extra dice push them over the top, especially against things that have no defensive tech. Yeah, was that it? Was that, did he just pick up a whole? I believe did he just pick so. up a unit? I believe so. That took out a unit? Or did that just take out the heavy of that green group? There are, there are only two heavies total, only two bowcasters in the whole army. Wow. So it looks Despite like I'm, I'm going to pan see. over here. Just to look. Yeah, and it looks like that is a dead unit. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, bonjour, guten tag to uh, Philip Schroeder, who is uh, from, uh, watching us from Switzerland within the very late night. So if it's, yeah, he's watching at about 20 to 3 uh, in Switzerland, I believe. Wow. Uh, he will be supporting uh, Timothy because Timothy is playing Luke. Okay. So uh, nice. Luck. That's a matchup. Yep. So good luck to both of them on that one. But yes. uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, good talk and bonjour, depending on where in Switzerland you are. I think the the attrition war that Austin's winning here is quite a bit due to the factor we talked about um, at the beginning of the game about the difficulty of running speeder type units. These fluttercraft didn't really hit the same time. These Wookiees got focused pretty hard without really feeling like the Flutters were threatening Austin. Yeah, yeah. He, I think they, they, they are now going to affect the game too late. Yeah, I yeah. I know it's only turn two. They're too far away. So they, make they a, move fast, yeah. but they make, are they speed three? Uh, they are. are. Yeah, oh, they are threes. Oh, wow. So they move as fast as a T-47. With the less punch. Much less punch, yeah, much I think they're looking cheaper. To, I think he's price. looking to see if he can get Kalani on that top 
I mean, this angle doesn't matter much for us, but you can see Kalani's arm up there behind that yeah. tree. That's why they put the model back on. Yep. So the silhouette is goofy to think about, too, because the silhouette for um, transparent pegs like this is um, it's going to be a disc as yeah. wide as, or sorry, a cylinder as wide as the base, but the bottom of the cylinder is the bottom of the fluttercraft, so raised a couple inches, and then the top of the cylinder is the top of the base of the vehicle. Yep. Yep. So you've got a floating pancake that yeah. is mostly Ho air. Thick hockey puck. Yeah. It's mostly like nothingness next to the fluttercraft Which is that very you're trying hard, to visualize from. Very hard to, uh, yeah. to figure out. Oh, Richard telling us the these flutters in the battle force have variable speed. They're, they're more more in control of their speed. Oh, okay. We got dice coming. Another hot BX for seven hits. A couple of them being crits. Won't make crits won't make the difference. Seven is the number. In your stats graph that you had, did you yeah. happen to have how many operative loops? And that is. Yeah, Ooh. I could get. Is that two dead? Uh, well, that was only a, a, let's see, a three, four, five, six. Oh, that's there a fluttercraft. Was a that's a fluttercraft gone. gone. Yeah. That's a so flutter gone. Wow. Five wow. Moons. Wow. Big BX shot. That is. That's what BX do. They so, uh, have all these chances yeah. at those shots. So, yeah, Cobb Keeley asking how many op loops are in the field. Yeah, I'll let you know. Have to scroll down the charts quite a bit for Hop Luke, unfortunately. <laughs> We're getting at the 29 unit. Minimum 29 one. counts. Yoda's at 25. Let's keep going here. Fluttercrafts are at 21. We are wow. still going down the trenches here. Down to 11. Tauntauns are at 11. Okay. Three of those are from Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are getting down I don't, I, there. I'm guessing less than five here. I'm calling three. One of which is Wee Bears. Right, right. Uh, Something. Yeah. <laughs> Nate Mockler, he did not count them by hand. John has been working on some very clever pieces of Data there, collection. Oh, this Jedi Knight. Jedi Knight is our operative Luke. Yep. At three. Three. There it is. There it is. Three op Lukes. One of which we know. The others we don't. It'll be interesting to know where they are and how they're doing. But yeah. Sam Bear, rolling one of those. Draw Bear, as we should call him for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colm Keeley. I, I, I wish I could play op Luke these days, but. If I had seen the potential in Brian's list much sooner, then I probably could have hunted some tournaments down and tried to get an invite, but saw it too late. No invites left for me. Uh, Commander Luke, are we going to go with none? Oh, you're killing me. Oh, the, Commander Luke had uh, six. Oh, really? Did you see him in there? Yeah, he was in no there. No way. Yeah. He had, he had I, thought, I thought he had more than... So no, no, never mind. That was a seven. different one. That's... It's, that's yeah, that's from Colm, by the way. Colm Keenix is asking. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little really No, I, I, re I read Lando. Here. That's what it was. I'm willing to I'm bet one. No. I'm going zero. So there's our Jedi Knight. Oh, oh no, that's the same Jedi Knight because we're at the very end of it. Um, that is zero. Oh, oh I think... My graph isn't the best at hunting down single units like this, but still gets the job there done. There he is. Hero of the Rebellion. One. 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 Oh, well. I think there was one Rex there, too. Yeah. That's a shame. But it's not because it's a shame because he's there. It's a shame because the way he is, his unit is placed, uh, his unit card, sorry, is placed in the game at the moment. Barry won already? No way. Against Iconia, a game that quick? Oh, wow. Really? That is 
mind-boggling. I'm on it. I'm on it. Double darks. Yeah. Yeah, we had Peter on last. You guys saw him play. Hey, Mike has Yoda, and I think he had some RPS. That's interesting. Uh, we got a BX shot we for the yeah. results. Mike Barry is now four and zero. Oh, man, that is wild. Oh, it's confirmed. Let me tell you, it was, oh, my word. Nil-nil on Sab. 49 points Bands and then positions retreats. And he lost 49, po yeah, 49 points in retreat. Yeah. That sucks. But well, for the Pete, anyway. Yeah. Not for, not for. It looks like four five. wounds coming here on the Wookiee player. Was four? Or on a Fluttercraft, because then he's rolling for the breaking. And he got the movement. So he, two actions to move, can't reverse, couldn't reverse anyways. Uh, so that would be the snow troopers with the electric binoculars. John B, I'm assuming Commander Luke was in EBD. I don't have that yeah. uh, data readily available. That is correct, Kolki. The deflect does not, um, doesn't give you surge block in melee. So the only ones that get surge block in melee from their mastery are Gemso, Anakin, and um, Sorisu. Sorus Sorisu mastery from Obi-Wan. Mike Barry tops the day with 4 0 so far. Is that, um, yeah, Richard, 0 0 is probably technically incorrect. I'm assuming they did 4 4 each. But. It's like uh, players, players zero moving zero. their payloads up hey. now. So. Um, going into turn three. Inquisitors. I'll hunt through that. I actually haven't seen Inquisitors, to be fair. I didn't see him yesterday either. Might little explore. Oh, there was a fifth brother. Let's see how many fifth brothers here. Wait, actually four. people are running Inquisitors? There are four fifth brothers. What? That's wild. Good for them. All right, what do we got here? We got command cards just went down. Oh, he picked them up. Is the two oh. pip of each. Yes. So that's preservation protocols yep. and then the Wookiee two pip. And it's going to the roll there. I missed two priorities is going to and, and sort of. So there are four fifth brothers and seven seventh sisters. Look at that irony. Four fifth brothers, seven seven sisters. Yeah. Oh, that only been better for this five five seven seven. That right. Was, was, was so Austin blue? Two pairs. No. So mm -hmm. it's Austin priority in this one. So he's got a, a this Wookiee unit back here. He's got one on that yellow stripe has just that model left, and then I believe a four man. Two four mans right there, correct? They're four man Wookies. Yeah. There were only four, two four man to begin with. Oh, and he got one of them out, right? So there's. I don't know. Yeah. I see a bowcaster. Uh, I don't know if I see a second bowcaster, besides the one in Chewie's hands. Two. That's uh, Chewie's yeah, yeah. hands. Uh, yeah. Messes something around here. On the stairs. Maybe the other side of this. Oh, on the back stairs. Maybe that's a three-man bowcaster left. Yeah, hard to say. We once had a dream of keeping track of every silhouette of, that was remaining in an army. <laughs> oh wow, man! The and like I had silhouettes made up, like uh, silhouette images rather, like trooper type images, all these different types that you could use. But man, the the difficulty. Like, you would need a whole keypad depending on that. You would need three more angles for cameras to keep track of that. Yeah. Streaming tools need to be quick. Making them quick is not easy. These Wookiees are... Sorry, let me update to... Uh, turn three, but it's turn three and Wookiees are not in melee yet. That is bad news bears for our Wookiee player. Yeah, because you you would hope at this point to be 
buried in your enemy's lines, or at least starting yeah. to, you know. So Austin doing a good job of uh, mitigating any melee happening here. Two red dice, got two hits to finish off a flutter. That was a sniper just popped it. Can we get a top down to see where the other pilot is, please? Just uh, intrigued. No, I can see one by the yeah. stairs. I just yeah. wonder where the other one was. Hello, one crit That's from that. One crit. So he split fire. He sent one at the flutter, and then they had two. That saves. That is not a save. That's on a Wookiee, I'm sure. Ooh. Yeah, he just put down a wound. All right, here's our top down. So the other payload is hiding. Austin's payload is back in the back on his side of the table, where his hand is pretty much at. Yeah. Um, the oh, there it is. There we go. Bang in the middle. Next to the tree. Turn. Right, right. We see the middle one. The other one is beyond. The other one's under the tree. Gotcha. Under the tree. Yeah, but where's he taking that cart? Because there's this one here in your bottom right at about your 4 o'clock, 4 to 5. Where's the where's where's his cart trying to go to? I'm not sure, man. I don't think to... we didn't ever find the find second it. payload actually. Yep. Nope. So it, ah, it, there it is. There it is. It's right there. It's that tree. Oh. So that so okay. So, so it's doing a, an X. Ross is, is trying to get to the top right. That little tree stump by those B twos. That's where he's trying to get to. And Austin is trying to come down to that little hut on your. On your bottom right. Give me so. a second. We'll point that out nice and good for you folks. Yeah, so we have one up here and the other right there. Again, yeah, I suppose it means all come to me. I will shoot Jesus at you. Yeah, yeah. Especially, so that's such a good play because if you especially know your player is trying to get in your face rather than trying to cross them and go the other way, cool, just come to me then and we'll just fight it all here and see whose payload gets you closer on this side. Let's see who wins the fist fight. Yeah. Uh, I like that. It's yeah. That has made, to be fair, also, it has made for a very fun game. You can just go, all right, go over that way and go that way. Yeah. And then we and just we, go. We did just get a Wookiee finally get into some B2s here. Hey, come on, Wookiees. That's a BX shot, right? Uh, four or five. It's like five. Or is that our B2s coming into? That was more blacks than the BX have. That must have been a B2 with a ha. It's like five results we see based on the defense. It was five that made it through. Uh, probably no cover because B2 ha. Yeah. One save, four wounds on Wookiees. Whoa. What does Austin have with that B2? What's the... What's the droid that's with it on the flight stand? Worker droid. Ah, okay. Uh, with his, no, he has Viper he recon has vi droids. Vipers for the Got it. Got it, okay. It's actually quite cool for the um, Observe, because Observe's a free action. Yeah, uh, uh, right. So um, there's both dice three rolls. So it protects the, the Viper behind one point of armor. You know, so it's relevant. That's cool. And it gives him yeah, and, and gives him a chance to have some free rerolls without having to take an aim action. Yeah. It's uh, sneaky. And better than putting it on B1. So. Uh, yeah, Stephen Gibb. I think uh, Zyconia was the last man standing for Australia. There is a chance he still goes through three and one. Yeah. It's uh, if things go, if things go their way. Especially because he lost in the last round. Yeah. Right. So the, the later right. you lose, the better your odds. All right, gents, Switch I will be back here. shortly. Yep. Yes. Do, do, do that accent. <laughs> I was going to try to catch him to get a drink.
earthquakes moving that tree there. It's a good thing he's not the other one with the BXs on. Yeah. That could be a problematic. Dice counting out here. Two hits a crit off that. Oh, there's uh, yeah. that's a surge. Is what is this? What is this? This has got to be BX splitting fire again with an extra black white. Three more wounds, unless it's on a fluttercraft. Oh, this was onto. We picked up B1s. Who rolls that many white dice as Wookiees? A little befuddled by that. Oh, I didn't see those Wookiees made into melee with the B2s. It's a great place for them to be, and the B2s don't love it. B2s have armor, sure, and double health, sure, but they only throw one die in melee, and I believe it's an unsurging black. Yep. And the Viper doesn't get to attack either. Uh, oh, does the Viper not have the suppressive attack uh, range? I don't think the. Uh, it's got a, it's got a, it's got a zappy thing, I think, isn't it? One to two. No, it's not suppressive. It's just While performing a ranged attack, that's the only weapon it can use, so it could use their melee. Yep. Halt! A wild dire has appeared. Holy dire joining us. Hello. In this Wookiee verse experimental droid. Matchup. I mean, it's it's thematic. Yes, yeah. we yeah, said this. Yeah. So, that's all right. I'm obviously we're here to here to support Austin. Bye. Being the, uh, the the Miller man he is. Ooh, I was under the impression the the Wookies were all the same unit, but I haven't got the list unfortunately. No, I mean I see it here, but I could have sworn I saw six six of them as the same type. But no, you're right. The there are two Kashyyyk defenders. The ones wielding the bowcasters. Yeah. So they that was their die pool with the seven white and a red. So how how how's the game looking so far? What what what, what what's Wookie, happening? Let's go advantage, Austin. I think he's probably fair. It to is say. turn three, and that was the first Wookiee engagement. So uh, two fluttercraft down. Uh, the three BX are still and, and fairly what, healthy. And Michael is not rolling well. No. And Austin says. Macau has um, six Wookiee units that all have next to no upgrades. So he has two of the shooty Wooks that have a bowcaster and then four melee Wooks with recon intel, nothing else. Now you see, I, I, we, we, we've had this. They're skinny. Yeah, we, 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 we've seen, I've seen versions of this list before. One of, uh, one of, the, one of team, well, team Island brought it. You mean Dave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Battle Game Earth. Um, so he, he brought something really, really similar. Um, and we were telling him for ages, just like, you need battle shields. <laughs> battle shields make it great. The, so the thing is, he got up to 10 axe with this. Um, I don't think you necessarily need 10 axe, no, though. I, so I prefer drop, meaty. Drop a naked one, put shields on. Oh, 100%. Like, yeah. all, all day. Um, and, and, like, so the, uh, the, I think there's, like, the, the, there are several schools of thought when it comes to Wookiees. And that is, you go with, you go in with, like, I think two Fluttercraft is the wrong choice. You either take zero or you take zero, three. three. Yeah. And you, and like, and you, and you really like lean into whichever of those things that, like, w like whichever objectives that's going to really do for you. Yeah. Um, at that point, like, you know, three Fluttercraft and a couple of Bowcasters, a couple of Battle Shields, and then a couple of Normals to kind of keep it back. Um, or like one normal plus like a commander. So um, when I was doing some practice games for Worlds, uh, Mr. Bushman decided oh, yeah, to yeah. Uh, throw down some Wookiees on the table for me just to see what it was like. And um, there, there were moments when that game was close, but oh, 100%. Yeah. It, the 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 thing that really really won that game for me uh, was the swoops. Yes, yes, because your your BSE started to get shredded quickly, but the swoops managed to pick it back up. Um, yeah, it's it's yeah. being it's being able to overrun combat, right. like, like almost even being able to like target. Like you can overrun twice into the Wookies and then shoot. Yes, that, you, and that's big. Multi the quantity of dice is what kills Wookies. 
Especially when two of those sets of dice are without cover. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fact, it like feels feels like being attacked with sharp two, you know. Yeah, and I think because if you're going into combat, you want him to drop the battle shield to the combat stance. And if you right. if you drop and then it, they if, don't have armor. And then they don't the have armor, armor, and then Overrun comes in and hits it. So you almost yeah. have to you almost you have like to keep bait them. It, like, yeah. Oh, this is the last last fluttercraft. He's Chewy. Just moved Chewy. Chewy, Chewy. Oh, that's right. Uh, the fluttercraft's rolling two red, two black. So this is Chewy. Got double crits. Pierce one. That's got to be good. Probably gonna bounce to two shields though, unfortunately. That's what EXD does. Is Austin's on the uh, is a triple sniper, triple shield? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. He's got the Im impact grenades on two. It's a it's it's quite similar to Luke Cook's list, although Luke Cook's got even the, more impact hedges. Luke Cook. Uh, he's, he's got the he's got the, the squad of Magna. I, I really think that's a bold choice. The Magna. You think he'll pay off? Well, I think he has already. <laughs> but hey. This guy. He just, I can't, he he's trying. He's trying so hard to fit the No, we, we've, already, we've already done it. We've got oh, we got it today? We got it this round? round? Um, I think we did. But no, I just can't believe we didn't go, I can't fall for it. Hmm? You know the quote. It's a bold move, Cotton. Yeah. Oh. So you went to bold choice, and I just went, does it pay off? And yeah, that was... <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get that. But John was John straight away. It's been a long well, if, day. If it's a, if it's a bold strategy, then I'm there. Like you know, if you say <laughs> if it's the actual words, I'll probably get it. But that's right, right about where I'm at now, mate. I'm at like such minimal sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> I want to go home. Um, We've been sitting on our butts the whole day. We're nice and rested. So I'm mean. <laughs> <laughs> just crumbling into the chair bit by bit. On uh, on that note, do we know what time rounds start tomorrow? 7:30 sign up. So I would assume. So even earlier, even though it's three rounds. Yeah. So it just means we get a nice big evening. Well, yeah. Ollie's like, yep. <laughs> well, I mean, the, I mean, the big evening. Obviously, it's um, it, it's social night tomorrow, uh, where we will be having the karaoke, uh, as well as uh, enjoying ourselves on a tipple or two. <laughs> on a what or two? A tipple. A tipple. Do you know what a tipple is? Oh boy. It's a. Uh, have you never heard that before? You no. It's, it's no. So a tipple's like a little drink. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, you know, it's a, it's a little tipple. You can't just say drink? Well, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a posher way to say it. I have, to, I have a reputation to uphold it. <laughs> it's, a fun, it's a fun way to say it. It's like a tipple can make you tipsy. That's one thing. A tipple could make you tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've just broken bush for that. <laughs> oh, man. I'm outnumbered now, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to do. We're, re we're teaching the Queen's King's English. Excuse me. Oh, we'll be on a king even after the next one. <laughs> exactly. Um, I back to this back to the game for briefly. Uh, I main I think the issue, a uh, small issue, uh, McCrosney had was not bringing out or, or having the flutters too far away. He yeah, they didn't engage over. the he same time. He did not engage the speed. So Ollie, you weren't here for it. The speeders have now. They haven't really affected or impacted the game other than dying. Looks like they've removed a couple BXs that were up there. Yeah. But Again, but it's like... Not enough. I, I get that floaters are pretty cheap, just in general. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not really the suffering too, too much of a loss from it, but... I think uh, again, like, it goes back. It goes back to the point before: is you either need to go all Wookies or have the three floaters in there, and maybe like a bid so that you get your the, the battle deck that you want. Who who's blue here? Uh, blue went to the Wookie player. Blue went to the Wookie player. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, if you yeah, he had a deep bid, tenish points. That's quite good. Have it pulled up. Uh, Daniel Thompson no, says uh, the Canadians know what it is. Yeah, it's part of the Commonwealth. <laughs> Yeah, they're not quite as free as us Americans down here. Well, <laughs> I, look, I look forward to the next. No. <laughs> Welcome to Colony Talk with Cockles, Holly. Oh John. boy! Oh, <laughs> it's, our, it's, a new, it's our new podcast <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> Spin, spin off. That's no colony. <laughs> 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 And you got the American show, that's not freedom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to stop. I need to stop fiddling with things. My hands have stopped working. Stop it. <laughs> Let's keep dropping stuff. I'm gonna break the stream over. Literally here. just dropped it again. <laughs> Being a melt here. 
Uh, Colm, no, Brian and Luke have not been on stream yet. It, we, we, we aim to have him on stream. Um, are, we, are we still being asked for the experimental droids? No, we're, asking, it, was, we're, we're, we're being asked for Weebear. People, the people have spoken, they want Weebear. Not today. That, I'm not sure the cameras will be able to uh, show him properly because he's too bright. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, looking at him hurts my eyes. Yeah, for those of you not here, the whole Indiana Garrison brought uh, tracksuits <laughs> with <Like> Kill Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in Kill Bill style, bright yellow tracksuits, top and bottom, with a NBA styled Luke Skywalker silhouette on the back. It's pretty fun. Yeah, it, it's great. It's beautiful. Beautiful to see. Germany have come in the same shirts as last year. Very efficient. <laughs> <laughs> Not washed since? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> um, Team UK got new shirts. As did as did Michael. All right. So Michael obviously went to Spain, uh, and, and someone gave him a Team UK shirt. So even though he's a US... He is uh, wearing Team UK. Yeah, no, he's, he's Michael Double Agent Smith. Yeah, and he also managed to sneak in the Team UK picture as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just wouldn't know, would you? Austin struggling to keep his models up there. Uh, Colm. Yep. Yeah, I've always preferred a cheeky pint <laughs> to a tipple. It dep depends what kind of outing you're going to, really. If it's a dinner party, a cheeky tipple, you know, a little rosé. Dr drinking age in Canada is 19, 18 in some places, apparently. That's weird. I thought most Commonwealth places were just had very, very similar kind of like um, laws like that to ours. I'd like to ask the question as to why it's 21 here, but Let's see, we got six hits after. What we got? So four hits, two crits. What is this roll? Looks like a BX oh, shot. Dice mixed in there. It looks like a BX, BX shot. Double reds. There is two. There is two reds there, isn't it? It's nope. two blacks. Oh, there's just there's a red in you there. You know, well that's a that's a rocket is what it is. A ah. B1 rocket has the rainbow in there, and it's probably got an added added black white from being EXD. Yep. It's like a fun puzzle to solve every every dice roll. Who's shooting? With what makes this die pool? <laughs> Tune in tomorrow once, once we found out. <laughs> yeah. I had a whole plan of like showing the, the graphs of, of the die roll probabilities. I spent hours on that thing, made it work. It was beautiful. There's no way that we, we just don't know who's shooting who until way after the fact. So it would be useless. You'd have to have somebody literally sat table side going... BXs to shoot B2s. The yeah. only other thing, well, ne well, that would actually be a microphone that could do that. Imagine, ima imagine, ma imagine someone offering you a bag of sweets and you take a handful, you heathen. Yeah. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a collection over there. <laughs> Let's get one of every colour. <laughs> I, I agree, a cheeky pint before the fancy dinner does make it a lot more fun. One too many can make it problems. Okay, nine pints before uh, a posture, that's probably not great. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a limit to these things. <laughs> yeah, we, the, the mic on the, on the table is, it, it's there, but it's run out of battery, and it seems that the battery goes so quick. We need to then descend the rig. It's quite... Uh, and it's quite loud in the area, yeah. so even with that on, we pick up just more ambient it, it, noise yeah, than the players. Yeah, we pick up the ambient noise. It's, it's problematic. Um, yeah. Miking up the players is a bit troublesome. We almost need boom, mic boom mics facing each player. Hmm. Oh, they're scooping these dice way quick. They're, they're speeding through. We are on turn three, right? I didn't miss one. I haven't seen We any. didn't make it to turn four? I don't think so. I'm sure we can find out. I'm sure someone will. Listen, no one's yelled at me to to up it to turn four, so <laughs> that's normally my. Oh, here the, and they're moving the pay car, payloads now, so we're going into four. So 
Schwartz, Austin trying to get to. Well, and let us show you the top down view in a second. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Okay, so share away, Cockles. Where, where are we going? So, bottom right. Yep. Is where Austin's, go Austin's going. Okay, and where's his cart right now? There. Okay. Top left, we see that tree stump. Uh, sorry, top right, where the tree stump is, near the blue based uh, unit there. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's where McCross is going. So they're both relatively so isn't, same is, distance. Isn't, isn't McCross just facing the wrong way? No, he's going this way. They both start middle battle lines crossing each other that way. Oh no, just, I just thought his his payload looks like it's facing the wrong way. So I, Oh, maybe for... It has full pivot, right? And reposition, so... Yeah, yeah. There's not more sure uh, the reasoning for the handlebars being faced that way. As we all know, we can't reposition on a reverse. No, but you could move forward, but reposition before moving forward. Turning yourself 180. Yeah, you, you, forward. You, you can if you can go full 360. And it, it was just the, the view we had here. Ah, They're yeah, facing the right way. They're facing the right way. Oh, we had a flop of push. And who knows what? Yep, push and walk. Here we go, find out. Cockle's going to walk away with while well, still plugged in. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody help him. He's going to hurt himself. <laughs> it's been a long, long two days. This is our eighth game this weekend. A lot of games. Oh, BX fell and broke. Mm, so the uh, the Kalani reinforcement card that gives the free recover, I believe that is. Uh, yes, that is the free recover uh, to pop those shields back up on the BXs. It's nice, fun combo. Shields up and or rocket re re uh, rocket reload. Yeah, like this was uh, this is a tool they've had in their pocket for a long time now, but. I think the the free aim, the three free aims, and or speed threes, and or extra dice around, mm -hmm. just tipped it far enough to make all these tools useful, and mm. they're all coming out now. It, it's good to see how much the battle forces have shaken the meta. Um, a few minutes ago, I was looking at the at the top five, and I think it was all different factions. Yeah, so I think it's changed a little bit now, but. Let's have, a, let's, have a, let's have a cheeky refresh. And we'll Ollie, uh, one you do that. One sees you. Salad says, uh, "Hi, Ollie. Glad to see you're doing well again. Best of luck." I was the Canadian you smashed in round two last year. Oh, amazing! Last um, year. Yeah, 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 last year. I, I remember he was playing. Um, he was playing Rebels with like Han, Chewie, um, like Mark, like the Mark II blasters, some Rebel vet. Is this the game when you were super hungover as well? Uh, I, I, I cannot remember if I was super hungover, which means that there's a possibility. Yeah, it's a very fair statement. <laughs> it's like, who knows? Not me. <laughs> I'm just scanning for extra any... Uh, Martin, uh, Marcus Vaca has uh, won. He is 4-0. Oh, he played his game in he one. played at Joe Lanza. Uh, of the oh, 52 no, 5280 Joe. He, Our invincible white dice Joe. He, <laughs> yeah, he... Uh, so. He's taken the loss. Uh, in fact, Joe, Joe Lanz was actually thinking about a intentional draw. Yeah. He was one of the unfortunate ones who was on the can't guarantee it, he would make it scenario. So he kind of had to play based on this strategy schedule. Yeah, and there's still, there's still quite a lot of, uh, a lot, there's still a lot oh, of games so a lot to of finish. Yeah. Set from five, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, look at the grit. Oh, there's only two, sorry. I misread the missile, the surge. Can't tell if that's two red or two black. I think that's a. It's, two red. it's, it's two a red. red. It's, a, it's a red and two black. Ooh. One red, two black means it was a rocket squad. All right. Uh, no. Seth from Bombad one. Blanks. Thanks, Holly. I'm currently wearing your jumper as we uh, as you comment. It's very comfortable. <laughs> I, had one, I had it on yesterday. It was, very, it was, it was lovely. Oh yeah, I, I I'd lost my game, so I, well, I wasn't particularly cheerful. I was trying though. <laughs> I flew all the way to America. I just lost my first game. I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> uh, Dave Grant is three and one, so he'll be holding out hope. Those Wookies finally made it into melee. They rolled earlier. It looked like they got two wounds on something that they are not in base contact with anymore. Next squad is getting into melees. A three-man 
Should be throwing six black dice. Duelist, but no offensive push, no way to have an aim. Pierce won't matter, though, so they're just punching into B1s, I believe. Pesky B1s. Uh, Not being nice to him. Ben Smith. 50% on those six dice. Pushes three wounds, though. Does that finish the B1s? Oh, one, two. That's the lead, I think. I think the Wookiees almost I don't want. Think so yeah, they. <laughs> like now, 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 now they're sat in yeah. a horrible spot. Yeah, absolutely horrible. Like well, but here's the thing: if one, if only one dies, he gets to speed one into melee with another. Yeah. With how close he is, he has all the options to speed one into melee. So the odds that nine wounds get put on him, pretty small. At least one of those one Wookiee model gets to go into melee. But yeah, I'm not. Um, mm -hmm. Result update. Mm -hmm. Ben Smith uh, of San Antonio beat Smiley Smile of Florida Man. Okay. Um, so that is one of the two, one, one of the draws. That will be him eliminated. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, he, 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 would, he, he got paired down. He needed to win. What was, uh, well, what, what was um, Ben's Ben score? was two and one. Okay, yeah. So, so, so Smiley was on 201. So both both players with the draws got, oh, yeah. got pair downs? Uh, yes. We have seen some odd pairings. There were also two 3 0 players, two that paired down. Instead of playing each other, the they paired one down. Of them. Yeah, this is one of them. A 3 0 against a 2 1. So, yeah. Further than that, they shouldn't have paired down at all. 3 0 should have played against the 201s. Yeah. Because there are yeah. nine tournament points against the next. Set tournament or points, e which or seven, even the not two two oh ones play each other. No, because you start from the top oh. and go down. So no, you start from the, the, the were, highest set of tournament points, which were nine. The oh, okay, sorry. I'm with you. So if there was an odd number, then that one needs to get paired against the next set, yeah, sorry, which is right. the I seven point. Yeah, there we go. That makes yeah, sense. Um, so down. that's him now eliminated. Ben Smith holding on hope on SOS. The other two oh one, John Dunn, um, is playing Rich College. So let's just see what happens. Um, They're on intercept. The transmissions. So Luke Cook with a draw. Really? Well, he was playing the game. Mm. Oh, there's kill points in there. All right. Oh, no, that's his final standing kill points. Interesting. He went for the draw. He played the game, though. He played the game. As far as, far as I'm aware. Yeah, yeah but at some point they came to, to the decision that they were going to draw. So there is a lot. So from, from 20th place up to... So there's 50... No. Yeah, 15. 15 three zero ones and five four and hours at the moment. So I don't think... The, so, so we don't think the issue is getting into tomorrow for that draw. We think the issue is now getting into Sunday. All you have to do is win all three games. Well, that doesn't guarantee you. It does. No. Not if it you have a, an, a draw. If there are, if there are still two um, undefeateds that make it all the way through Saturday, then you're in a pool of players relying on tiebreakers. The, the pool is will be quite small, though. When, when, like, if you think about, it, because a, a lot of, because of the amount of draws there's been, the amount of players that are coming through with a loss already into tomorrow is higher. So there, there, there might be like maybe five or yeah, six. We like, definitely need to see see the numbers. Uh, how uh, many we get? What, how many we end with four zero? How many we end with three zero one? And how many are three one zero? Yeah, and that, that that way you'll be able to go right. Okay, this yeah. this is this is how many are going to get through. Uh, and again, like for me personally, it's more about making it today to playing the three games and not like dropping out like if, if I make top four tomorrow great but if you know I'm talking about a reigning champ though Mr. Luke Cook that has a draw on his record now that's what's got me doubting I don't know it's a weird one it is like for sure like for sure Mike Barry I know went 4-0 maybe this is his year could be could be anyone's year. I think uh, I think the French captain played as well. Who's he? Uh, that is Antoine. Oh, okay. So he played. Oh, and he's 4-0. Mm -hmm. Nice. 
How many 4-0s are we at now? Five. And there are 15 three zero ones. Uh, there's still there's still a couple of people kind of like playing the games out. Um, a lot of three one o like a lot of three one o's. I think three one o's go down as far as how where are we looking at the moment? Three one o's are down at like fifty foot fifty fifth. Fifty five from twenty, so it's twenty five of them. Mm -hmm. uh, thirty five. Twenty yeah. five. 15 of 15 three zero ones and then no we have 20 total 20 four zeros and five four zeros and 15 three zero ones yeah at the moment right so that's 20 of those and then from 20 all the way to 54 yeah more or less yeah so that was the other 34 yeah 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 Rich, Richard um Luke did go 2-1 last year. In fact, quite a few of the top eight of last year lost their first game. So I lost my game one um, against... What the, oh, I'm trying to remember what I even played against. For, oh, I played against Nick Post in game one. Um, and he beat me. And then I beat Luke Post in round six to make top eight. So that was, that was, that was, that was, that was a weird full circle. Where, oh, the top of one of the buildings came crashing down. Oh, please be careful with that, please. Okay, it looked like Austin's a got a bit more pressure. Austin's from got a gent. Austin's, this view, Austin's got a gentle touch. <laughs> you would know. <laughs> <laughs> you got you gosh damn right I do. <laughs> you think you think he makes all these t-shirts for me on them because for fun? <laughs> oh, that BX is about to fall. <laughs> Any second now. Just taking bets on when it will. <laughs> I mean, I saw it move, and now it's it is hanging on to that texture for dear life. I think there's still a couple of games playing out. We'll end up with like somewhere between six to eight four hours. Six to eight. Okay, I think. plus the fifteen. So there'll still be a handful of those. Six to eight. Um, that are going to play three more games means at least one could still be undefeated. Yeah, and or no two. I mean, if you if you have eight, yeah, if, and then if you if, play if, to four, you play to two, you play to one. Yeah, so one player. If we're at eight, going in, which means that there'll be three out of the the next highest pool. Yeah, which will likely be players that have drawn today and then go three out tomorrow. Or could, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can't, you, so the, what, what they were saying at the desk is that you could lose, if you go 4 out today, you could lose your game one tomorrow and then win out. Or you could lose in your final match and your strength of schedule will be enough to get you there. Um, but I, I think that's... It, it, out it, of 32 it, people, only four people can go 3 0. Is that correct? Yeah. There yeah. And so the four people who go 3 0 tomorrow are going to be the four people who make the top four. It's essentially, it's it's almost like if you've got a, so long as you haven't lost a game today, it doesn't really matter what you do tomorrow because they will like. I think that checks out. Yeah, I haven't thought about this scenario as much, and it is a little messy with my mind. But I, I think I, I think I'm following you there. Yeah, I, th I, th I think the the I mean it's from I'm a Northern Englishman, so my maths isn't generally great, but I try, <laughs> try my best. Sorry, <laughs> private school boy couldn't do maths. Private school boy for rugby, man, for <laughs> Oh, big roll here. Three, four, five. This. Let's see. So that was uh, Zaconio was just having a chat to find out where the, what the scenarios were for him to go through. Five hits. Four well, he he lost his game. He is borderline to go through. Just need relying on results, basically. His his future is not in his hands. Oh, no. to to make it to Saturday. Yeah. He's saying not to Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, as soon as he lost that game today, that was that, that's him out of the top four. Yeah. You showed the schedule just isn't good enough to, well, or won't be good enough to get you through. Yeah. yeah. Imagine this so what if some of the three O what if some of the players that go three O tomorrow are um, players that have a loss from the three one pool? What does that do? Then they become six ones. Which is better than a uh, five one one. Is it? It is. Yeah. Because that's yeah, it's it's yeah, it's more, it's, it's more points. So points. Literally, you, you just need to win all three games tomorrow out yeah. of that thirty-two, and so even these one-loss players 
have a chance. The, the one loss players that make it into Saturday have a chance at Sunday. Yeah, I think. If only yes. Andy knew. So I think it was about, about half of the three and O's drew, so that means that about half of them is have, there, have, have played. Is there any scenario where out of those 32 players, the four that go 3-0 tomorrow, is there any chance that any of those four aren't in the top four? Uh, so the four, those four O's, would they be paired? They'll all, they it, all play. It, it, it depends. SOS aside, like, like it almost seems like it could be worked out by with the tournament score alone. Hang on, you can do this. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. Here's here's the thing. Um, right, we, we said we're going to have two going into the final round tomorrow. We're going to have two six O's. One will become a seven O. One will become a six one. Right? That six one didn't go three O on Saturday, but it would have the same tournament score as a three one today going three O tomorrow. Right. For those of you at home, I'm I'm sat I'm sat here looking <laughs> sat here looking immensely confused. I think there's a there's a window. I, th I think you've just broken Ollie. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that was six hits through. It yeah, looks like we'll go back to and then uh, a lot the the saves and obviously I I got I was part and parcel to this. No, you're <laughs> I've been good. I've been pretty good. Oh, that was Wookiees. That that seems to have changed quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, the the BX the droids are starting to spread out, push their cart more. Um, not many Wookiees remaining to really put up a fight here. I can't I can't see masses. It's games like this that that throw the whole whack out because a three and zero player getting paired down and losing means that that almost certainly puts them out of contention to make the second day. You shouldn't the schedule tanks, like... It does, but that, but all of that is averages, right? Right, it tanks, but it tanks on average. You could still be playing against player, or your first player could have still gone really great, and all the other opponents could have had... All the other players could have had opponents that went really poorly, right? This is all averages we're talking about. There's no guarantees in strength of schedule. Yeah. Um, we know that your max SOS is different from if you lose an early round compared to losing a last round, but that's just that's your max. You know, that's max, but then random after. Mm -hmm. um, I think my main point that I'd want to make about tomorrow and what passes through Saturday to Sunday is that a three-one today has has to, can pos potentially contend with. Uh, with the final player that goes six one, or any players that are undefeated, and then lo make a loss tomorrow. It's possible. Possible. Well, uh, like, they would both be six one. Yeah. Which there's no six o ones yet. Maybe it. Well, there could be. I'm just gonna play my games, see what happens. <laughs> yeah, just win. <laughs> oh, yeah, just, just win. There's nothing. It's not like you can do anything about the, all this theorizing. It's, I mean, you still gotta win to to make it through. We're going in turn five here. Let's see what they flip. I saw Roger, Roger, and I blinked. Oh, I'm gonna go peek, and see what the Wookie played. Just wait. That's right. But Bushman's going to go look for the command card for the Wookiees. Apologies, I was talking to a, an old friend who actually I used to play Legion with. He was one of the first few people I played with. And then he converted to X-Wing. And then yeah. moved back here. Off, he was in the uh, US Air Force. Um, what was the check? Are you putting command cards back in the uh, box? I take it, yeah. There you go. Yeah, who who wouldn't put their command cards in the and box on stream? Well, he, oh, he put amateur, it there. He, amateur he hour. actually put it there. He just removed it too uh, quickly. I'm also just going to say, people who miss don't put the dice in there as well. <laughs> uh, Will, uh, Will, my, my 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 opponent and I decided to uh, to call it a draw. Oh. Um, so yeah, we're both tired. <laughs> it's going to be hard games tomorrow. I just want to. I just yeah. want to eat and go to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right.
So what, what have the Wookiees actually got left? I'm seeing one Wookiee over by the staircase on the left. Is there a flutter still? No, gone. No, the flutter's gone. Yes. I'm seeing one Wookiee on the other side of the stairs. One that is engaged with some B2s, it looks like. There are very few Wookiees left. Have we got a top uh, a sky view? Please. Please. Oh, I can't zoom out any further than that said. So it is literally just like maybe... Is, it, is there literally just three Wookiee three models, models left on the board? I believe. Oh, well, rough. Mm. That is rough. Right, right. Five hits. Uh, no, there's Chewy. See those two tokens just near the red uh, bridge stairs? Oh, that's one of the three models. Oh, apologies. I thought you just saw that and then, yeah. Oh. Looks like some pretty hefty dice pulls going on. Yeah. I think there could be another Wookiee coming off. Wookie, Wookiees can't perform free moves if they're dead. No, nope. <laughs> they can't. Credit to McCrosney for not conceding because he's still holding out a little hope, maybe. Diffs, it, it's always shot o'clock. You know it is. <laughs> well, that's how I live my life. So Diffs is a listener in Finland. It's my creed. <laughs> he is a, a fan of the Stabcast. He's a fan of. He's a fan of many podcasts. He's a fan of who? Sorry. The, the Stabcast. Oh. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan of their moonshine and Ryan. Roll Tide. Isn't is Stabcast, is Stabcast Will here today? No, it's just Ryan. Oh, I thought because I thought because he was playing in. Last chance qualifier, or...? I don't think they were. I, I was told just Ryan was coming, because Ben and Will could not make it. Is there a Will, or have I just made that up? There is a Will. In Stabcast, yeah. Hey. There is a Will. Will Himes. And there is a way. <laughs> Boo. No, 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 Tim? Boo. Uh, is Tim still Stabcast? I know he's switched Tim. over to the dark side. Tim's in every cast. Is he in both? Yeah, Fifth Tim. Trooper and Tim, Stabcast. Tim's just here for a good time. <laughs> You wouldn't know by watching his Legion games, because <laughs> he gets... I mean, his after activities are great. He gets really angry and then goes for a spa day. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Will couldn't make it to a How do you know that, Diffs? <laughs> that's, that's oddly specific. The man in Finland knows more than over here, but there we go. What, what's a stab cut? Yeah. Gosh damn right. I don't know. Never heard of it. <laughs> To win for Nav, giving him a uh, that's an improvement on last year. Nav on 03 last year, he's gone 2 2. That's off. Well done, you Nav. <laughs> Good on you for adding to their listeners' diffs. They could take everything they got. <laughs> <laughs> Arms for the poor. <laughs> what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed diffs is still up, given the time it must be in Poland. I don't think diffs ever sleeps. <laughs> <laughs> sleep, sleep when you're gone. I'm pretty sure he just. I'm pretty sure that man is part of Discord. I don't think he's real. He's a computer program. <laughs> the spots. Are we so <laughs> rolling back into the game? Are we? Are we in, I in think agreement we're at that one Wookiee model one, left. One, one Chewbacca uh, to try and save the day, which is not going to happen. Oh, there's two models. Oh. Look at that. Where is? Oh, they're just hiding up. One of those being Chewy. One of them, not. Dave Grant currently sat in 41st. I don't think he's going to be making it in at this rate. People, people that are quite SOS changes a lot as every game gets processed. Yep. SOS changes a lot of the players. About well, every SOS will, every game finishing will change six other players. SOS. Good match, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think that tracks. I always find it weird. I mean, I'm I, I I'm not a big fan of SOS. Oh, I despise it. Uh, MOV. Oh. I, I like MOV. Yeah. I was unaware. It's, it's, gen, it's, a, it's a, not a, not everyone, obviously, but SOS is favoured. With from conversations in the past with other uh, American players, is favoured this side. No. Because of the <laughs> game. Exp nope. No. 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 I, no. 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 I, no. Not for you. I get it. <laughs> It's just straight. This guy's trying to set up a conversation and push us in there like, no, shut up. <laughs> All right, John. Get Thanks, out. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Jeez. You haven't Conver listened to Fist Trooper episodes very much, have you? Conversations I've had. So, so I have. Scoundrels. 
But because me and Kyle have had this debate on live each in '99 more so, times than so Keegan and others have, have, have talked about this topic. I get it. I do get the merits of both. This is uh, fine, but uh, no, I was given to understand it was more of a. It allows for a more fun experience in that perspective, and that's why it was voted for. If that makes sense, and SOS why they chose SOS AMG specifically. So it would not so lead to a negative player experience. So you're you're going to tell me I know why. I get it. But I'm just well, saying that's what I was like given to understand. Okay, okay you dive and not even let me speak. Um, How very dare you? Well, I know what you're going to say. Go no, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not angry, Cockles. <laughs> I'm just dis- <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that sorry, was sorry, that was time to administrative. Right I know, I know, I know. Just, yeah, bush points. That was a thing. We called it BP. You think that was battle points? No, that was bush points. <laughs> I, I kid you not. That was. I reached out to Tabletop TO, came up with a system that was agreed upon by enough people, and that was our MOV that we used for a brief period of yep. time. I, I don't think MOV encourages tablings. It does. Not. Well, it encourages you to. It encourages a win to nothing. So, like, which you, tabling is is one way to do that. It, but it, yes. it, is, it is it is a way to do that. But if you've got the opportunity to table your opponent, you you would do it anyway. Yeah, but it's. I think the point is, it's normally easier to table the opponent than win X to zero on victory points because so many. Because, I mean, intercept. You're not going to stop every intercept point. Like, they're going to get one, at least. And then you're going to get 11 twelfths max after that. Um, I don't know. But find the, well, the but biggest point is battle points, whatever, MOV, put it in your hands rather than just yeah. the yes. match gods. But, well, because, like, like today, if, if players have dropped and you're trying, you know, and you're trying to get into the top 32... And you're there like, oh, I'm going to make it. If, if your opponent from round three's dropped in the last round because they're bored, or you know they're you know they're not interested anymore, then you get. <laughs> well, so Luke Cook's dad dropped after round one. So if you then and he won. Yeah, well, if you played if you played in round one and you're then he added zero percent to his one opponent's SOS, which is unfortunate for his opponent. Because like, if, he, if he had even, like, won one more game, that would boost his opponent's SOS. But he locked himself in at that 0-1 and sad. But it's his prerogative. Oh, that was a pretty nice dice roll of 5, 6, 7, 8. Outrageous. Converting to a ninth, 10th. Not sure how 10. 3, 6. No, that's 9. I... Um, one block less. for wounds. Unless that was a reliable tree. No, no, just finish the. Chewie's all that remains yeah. now. I'm less anti MOV than I used to be. I've. I forget. I, not that I don't think I'm anti SOS. I'm, I, I, it's kind of like if someone says this, I'll be fine. If someone says this, it's fine. The best thing to do is try and win your games, and then you don't have to worry about it. Mm. So that's my. That's my, that's my take, but, yeah. Uh, Outrider Matt. Love that guy. Yeah, tell him I said hi back. Diffs, are you in the the Nevada area then? The Vegas area? No, he's in, like, Finland. The Finland, wow, he's the he's Finland he's area. He's talking for Outrider. He has many, right. a, many a finger and many a oh, pie. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, do we not have any of the Legion Outriders here? Uh, they, I don't I don't think they were even still podcasting. Really? Are they? I don't know. I haven't listened yeah. to them for a while. But then I, I, I'm, I'm I haven't. I, I haven't seen anything posted. I'm falling behind. Because it's like it, there's like the, the, there's TNM, there's the Stabcast, there's Fifth Trooper, Notorious Scoundrels, Bombard Generals, Bombard and um, Legion 99. Legion 99. Yeah. You've got um, Glorious Blasters. Glorious Blasters. Glorious Blasters. There, there. Rounds up. Extended break. Diff says. The Aussies yeah. guys. The Aussie guys. Yeah. Rounds up. Chewy retreating. C4. That's it. That's rounds up by C4. Yeah. Oh, okay. Instead of Chewy, I don't just denying kill points. I guess, not sure what this Chewy move is. We got. We can just see Dennis in the distance watching. XD hunting that, those final kill points. Trying to maximize his secondary tiebreaker. 
So yeah, Elite Outriders are, um, uh, what's the word? They're on hiatus. Stabcast will live forever. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> is, that right? is that Ryan coming in right now? No, that'll be um, Ben, I believe, is chilling on their account. Oh, that's a lot of dice in the Chewy. Three, four, five hits. Touching the... I believe he's still getting covered. Treating was, his separate pieces. Was, was that blank red not knocked from a hit into a blank? It's hard. I, th I think it was, and then he showed that it was a hit, oh. took it away for cover. It's on Chewy, so he doesn't surge. They do have cover. He has two surges, surge tokens. Oh, uh, okay. But they're treating that staircase as separate terrain, so still cover, even though they're both touching it. But that is a sensible thing to do when it's that big. And especially when, I mean, that, that, that was how we intended it um, for stuff like key positions. Just makes life difficult if you, they're like, oh, look at this giant piece of terrain. I'm touching here and I can shoot you without any cover all the way over there. Tim Hannon is the Legion bicycle. I don't <laughs> understand that. Well, Andy well, might be recently. Because he goes for a white ride on all the podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> and Andy might be though at the meet recently. He's been doing the rounds. He's been moonlighting. For who? Everyone. For who? Oh, he's, he's, he was talking about that. He said he's been on a fair few recently. I'll ask him later. I don't, what, I don't know why you'd want someone who sounds like Andy on a podcast. <laughs> I still get confused why we've got him. They. Uh, I'm glad you said him and not me. I'm really. I'm touched. <laughs> <laughs> Cockle's just <laughs> glad to be the one not getting picked on. No, no, <laughs> it's my. It's a. It's a. It's a merry go round. We do it to each other. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I mean, I mean, these these boys started a whole thing where so many people kept trying to guess my address. People sent me pictures. Zyconia sent me pictures of a house in Northampton saying, do you live here? And I was like, what's <laughs> going on? You stop that. And they still do. See, we oh, they, yeah, they still three, do. They, we, we had four or five hits coming at Chewy again. We actually have a, uh, a, a caption in our Discord of where's W brackets Ollie? That'll where's be Wally? Four more wounds. Looks like his surges are spent. Put them on two health left. Yeah. It's not so, long for the world yeah, with a full uh, round left, nowhere to hide. Someone call Hard Dice down. This Wookiee needs a break. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I, I, the chewy has gone. If he hadn't gone, I would like to just see him just charge right up the stairs into those BXs for fun. I mean, it's... Oh, he's gone. It, the game's he's done. Face down. Just, yeah. see what, just go, go, go down and swing in. And, uh, Austin's going to finish it here. He's got a third third shot on its way. If it's tabling, does that mean the score doesn't... Does, the score stays where it is. Score? Uh, the, uh, the payloads. The, the payloads. Uh, no, 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 the points. payloads. If it's a tabling, you score one nil. That's it. Regardless. Yeah, okay. You score it, 800. It changes your victory no, points on your table? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. 800, one nil. Yeah, eight, that sounds familiar. It, 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 it's 800 points sure. on one nil. Right. I, yeah. haven't, I haven't looked at the document that says it for a while, but the, right, the, the last time that I did, that was, that, yeah. that was my understanding. So, but, you know, I'm, I'm more than willing to be wrong. Mm. In the distance, you can see a... On looking Octo Bear. Johnny B, I played games three weeks ago. Will last weekend, Ryan this weekend. Tim, as always, has proven disappointing. <laughs> Tim shows up to tournaments and then. Hey, Will, Will did, didn't he? Did you go to LBO? Uh, I know Tim was at LBO. Ryan's here. Yeah, I know Ryan's here. I've seen him. Yeah. He was there like, if you, <laughs> you want to you want some moonshine, you can come find me. <laughs> yeah, he does have the goodies. <laughs> He's got an overly large supply of moonshine. <laughs> I thought he was eating the tree then for just a brief second. Trying to get Chewy. Do the B2s have a have a reach or shot? Yeah, the Stabcast battle reports are on point. Nice. Uh, they're very, very detailed. Uh, and you do get a good insight. Looks like they are all. Did they they pulled out a speed three. Look at that. speed three B, B oh, twos. There yeah. he is, Le Mr. Lemon himself, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brian Bear, Mr. Sunbear, <laughs> Sunbear, Sunbear, <laughs> Mr. Suntan. <laughs> oh, that is a B two ha shot at range three. Puts two more wounds. Finishes Chewy. Good game. Good game. I offer the commiseration and say well done. 
Do you wear, do you wear that? Brian's just behind me, and I'm asking if he, if he wears that visor to protect from the, the vibrant rays he's wearing. <laughs> Do you have sunglasses it's for your opponents to wear? <laughs> it's looking like a game of league. Yeah, it, it just, uh, it, I think, the I think monkeys I, I, just I, got tabled. Yeah, yeah, Austin just tabled it. Just now. Um, so that is it, folks. We are going to throw it on the thank you screen for a bit. Thank you very much for tuning in. We will be back at 8 a.m. sharp again uh, with the next set of three games tomorrow. Excited to get this Luke double bus on the stream. And we will see you tomorrow. See y'all.